Oh, this unspent talent point is going to haunt me. I wonder if I can move the menu over far enough that I can't see it anymore. All right, it looks like we are live. I'm just double checking here. Yep, I see myself running around on a moose. We're live. It's a stream. It's a War Within Alpha stream. Are you are you ready? Uh, I have to open the stream and make sure it's working for me. All right, well, be sure to take this very seriously. This dynamic flying on some of the mounts is... It's something. It's a bit silly. Did you push a notification for this? No, it didn't give me the option to, so no. Okay, gotcha. It's not letting me turn on timestamps. Can you turn on timestamps? No. I don't know where to do that. Path. Yep. Yeah. All right. Be, bear with us. We got yeah, a little bit of troubleshooting to do before we. It's been a while since we've been. Been alive, a so. been a year or two since Th the last stream. <laughs> Enjoy this very strange dynamic flying animation in the meantime. What are you doing at the moment? I'm on I a can't mouse. I'm trying to fix. Or um, a moose, a moose, not a mouse. I'm on a moose, <laughs> and it's sort of running side to side as a form of flying. It's strange. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, we appreciate that very much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I love the idea of dynamic flying on all the mounts. I'm glad that that's happening. It looks better on some of them than uh, oh, okay, than others. Even though I even though I had toggled timestamps, it 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 didn't uh, it didn't show me that I toggled it. Okay. And but they are on now. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. YouTube totally free of bugs. Good product. Yeah. All right, are you ready to go to the Isle of Dorne? Do I need to pick up anything from these guys? I didn't. No. I'm not going to bother. Do I want any of their stuff? Probably not. Well, do they have any health potions? Maybe I want that. Uh, There's a bag in your bag called the Chest of Playtest Equipment that you can open to get health pots and oh, yeah. potions and flasks and stuff. Creating elemental stuff. Uh, uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty much everything I'm wearing already, plus some really low quality consumable. That's right. It's Thanks. all it's all starter character gear. Yeah, this is oh, the okay. raid ready gear that people got upset about when they sold characters with raid character boosts with raid ready gear. This is the raid readiness four thirty seven item level, ready to do uh, LFR. I mean, yeah, literally, you are. That's ready. the minimum you need to do LFR. You're ready to raid, technically. That's my healthy soda that I'm popping open here real quick. All right. I'm ready whenever you are to go to the Isle of Dorne. Okay. Um, I guess I'm ready as I'll ever be. Uh, All right. Let's go. What's this guy? <laughs> well, may maybe it'll take me to the Isle of Dorne. I told him. Okay, there we go. Bit of a delay on that. Uh, I just learned he also has an option that says I need to return to the Isle of Dorne if you need to go back from here. Okay, then. So, I guess he'll be our... He's He is the portal. Yep. Alright. Yeah, oh, and so I... there is an unlock for hero talents. You can get them all, and then they give you minus 20% damage and healing as a debuff. Uh, permanently for for the like punishment for that, but for some reason one of the talent points doesn't get spent, so it's just telling us we have unspent talent points forever. And I guess we have to knock these rocks off one at a time, huh? Oh, I see. That. I I clicked one and then I looked away. I thought I was lagging or something, but yeah. Nope. I well, I thought I was done. <laughs> yeah, I was done. not quite. All right, no bugs. All right, let's just kill some dudes, I suppose. I'm just going to start popping cooldowns. I have yeah, an insane amount of them now, and they seem murder. like they're incredibly strong. Windwalker, just from playing oh, around a little bit. You know on what the... I did not do is no. pull out some of my like new abilities 
onto my bar, but right. yet I don't even see them in my spell book. So that seems to be working as intended. Oh god, oh. something's messing with my frames. That's fine. Oof. Yeah, so Windwalker definitely got some buffs, and then I have this uh, Conduit of the Celestials or Celestial Conduit thing that I'm gonna pull a bunch of guys together. It says it does a million damage on a one and a half minute cooldown, so let's just try that out. Uh, yeah. Not doing as much as it said. Hmm. That's okay. I'm All the rest of the skills seem like they're hitting insanely hard. Around, I guess. I've definitely killed more than enough guys. I'm just enjoying the killing, you know? Yeah, the I'm Windwalker stuff is really exciting. I'm keep uh, turning themselves on and off, even the things that I've, like, told it I do want nameplates for. Oh, great. Oh, and it looks like rescuing these crash survivors is not shared, because you're at four and I'm at three. So that's that's uh, my least favorite. It's something. Yeah, there's a rare over here. I don't know if he's gonna one bang me. Oh, I don't think so. All right, let's give him the let's give him the business. See how it goes. Oh, I can I can fly here. Oops, I knew that. Oh yeah, we can fly, huh? That's pretty cool. Man, Windwalker hits really really hard now, and it it actually has like very few keybinds compared to how it is on live. They've Ruined like three or four rotational keybinds. It feels really good. So there's um. I used to tank on Windwalker Monk. Point. I don't know if you knew about it. Oh yeah. Oh, I've been closing <laughs> that, and then every like thirty seconds, it pops back up to tell me. And that's uh, real nice of them. Growing pains. Growing pains. That's okay. Growing. It's an alpha. Yeah. It's supposed to have bugs. Sure. Oh, did you get the quest from this guy right here? I didn't. I'm going to zip back over to him real quick. I see some dead. Ritz and Flamescowl is dead. Huh. Thank you. I recognize that guy from the Warlock class hall in Legion. And I guess he's dead now. I guess He's going to so. have to swap over to the DK class hall. Uh, yeah, tanking in uh, DPS facts, that's a favorite for Lerald, actually. Oh, yeah. But uh, they don't really allow you to do it in the uh, auto... Like, if you queue for a random, you can't uh, You can't just, like, zone in as Windwalker and be like, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll tank this. this it will, it'll it will auto Sometimes return. it will automatically swap you. I think it's for LFR yeah. it'll swap you. I think for dungeons you sometimes don't get swapped. It's not consistent. That's okay. There's so many cool things with the Windwalker tree. I was, like, super blown away. And then you look at the Brewmaster tree, it's exactly the same. Every single one of the tank trees is, like, completely unchanged. Uh, you know, tank life. Yeah. But, like, they took Rushing Jade Wind away and made it into a passive that's, like, a buff when you use Strike of the Windlord. It casts a super strong Rushing Jade Wind. Uh, they made it so Expel Harm just gets automatically applied when you, like, I don't remember, auto attack or something on a cooldown. Like, a lot of cool good passive I, moves that I would love to see for Brewmaster. Here. Do you finish those three quests? Or are you ready to regroup no, with Magni? I, I still need uh, one for each of them, but for some reason all of the mobs in the area decided that I'm the enemy, so <laughs> they yeah. just all started attacking me even though I wasn't near most of them. Yeah. Yeah, Brew has way too many skills, and like they've done a really good job with the Monk class tree redesign. Like I don't feel like there's any throughput that i'm losing out by taking you know basic stuff like interrupts or dispel now like all the stuff at the bottom of the tree is like clash which you can get as every spec but it's still in the brewmaster tree so clearly they're just not done with brewmaster at all but like this one if i roll i think it'll just like teleport me to an enemy well it's supposed to it didn't <laughs> but it's supposed to uh but like if you roll you can double tap jump and it'll like cause you to lunge forward I, okay, I don't know I really what useful that doesn't seem very useful like three yard extra bit of jump yep but it is neat they're trying stuff and that's cool my brain is still stuck in you can't fly at the beginning of an expansion I love it mode I'd literally been asking I mean, this I'm so happy that I can fly that's yeah for sure I had literally been asking for this since I think about Legion, about like yeah. Legion beta. I was like, please let us go back to flying. 
Please go back and make expansions like Mop. Oh, we gotta help this guy with this yep. thing over yep. here. Okay, let's help him. I'm doing it right now. Yeah, this said it does a million damage, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Ah, oh, work in progress. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh yeah, cutscene. The text text was backwards for me for a moment there. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I like when they tell was... you what's happening in the cutscene like this. That's great. But it was but it was backwards <laughs> for me. It was displaying the a complete backwards of the text. It was like flipping. It was just mirror. Cool. <laughs> There's another rare over here. All right. On the shore. I'm done reading that cinematic. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't want to read cinematics. Uh, -uh. I didn't. I didn't play video games to read. Wait, hold on. The reward from that quest is lower item level than the one I was already wearing. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right you want to meet me at the rare over here? Yes. Okay. Zorvex. That's his name. Don't wear it out. That's right. Oh, he's mad at me. He's gone. <laughs> He is gone, that's true. Alright. Get to work on this quest over here. Oh, they're teaching uh, actually, us how to... I mean, they're teaching us how to dragon ride. I see. What plus buttons now? I know we're not talking about Brewmaster. because No, Windwalker. Yeah, Windwalker is uh, like... Windwalker is more... Or less buttons, I mean. Yeah, unfortunately, they got rid of... Um... What am I Serenity, and now like you can oh, have the Serenity bonus, but it still is Storm, Earth, and Fire. Maybe that's more damage in the end, but just like Storm, Earth, and Fire, it's the most buggy skill in the history of the game. I would love to not have that. Okay, vehicle quest in the first few minutes. That's pretty normal. Yeah, I was on the ground, and I was like, oh wait, this is just for flying around or whatever. Yep. Oh, guys, I don't know if I can... Are these Those shared? These Doesn't look like it. What are you at for percentage? Oh, you're not on this quest. They came no, from below. I was, I was flying over here. No, you're on it now. All right. Yeah. Uh, still doesn't look like they're shared though. Ugh, annoying. It's so hit and miss. You know, at least they're consistent about it never ever being consistent. It's been like this since like vanilla. You do a quest with somebody, and half the time. I mean, I guess in vanilla it would be like kill a bunch of guys. That's shared. Loot the thing. It's not. But oh yeah, this is this yeah. is not shared. So I'm a little behind you because the that's stuff okay. that you killed is dead for me. So oh, so that's my favorite. Is when the monsters you have to fight for the monsters, but the killing monsters them is are not shared, shared, but not the quest progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great. You would think at some point they would standardize some of this stuff, and you know what? Maybe they will, but that points in the future. <laughs> Yeah, the I mean, the Storm Earth and Fire AI is so, so awful. But there is, like, good talent stuff for it. Getting cooldown reduction or whatever is good. And then getting the Serenity bonus is good. So, I don't know. I'm definitely going to play around with a lot more Windwalker. It really does seem like it's a lot of fun. And, like, there might be a couple of different talent builds that emerge for it. Well Obviously, Brewmaster is still the main, but... All right, I'm gonna be skipping this cutscene. Yeah, we're we're notorious cutscene skippers. Certainly, when it's early. just text. Yeah. Yeah, especially this early, and when they're just scrolling Star Wars text, basically. Yeah. Okay, so this quest is not shared. Perfect. Again, and it's it seems like we have to rescue a bunch of um, earthen dwarves that were captured by spiders. And I looked at the Earthen Racials. I was initially, like, a big fan of them giving a Horde Dwarf race. All the good news is I can yeah. click all the same stuff you're clicking. Well, that's good, at least. Yeah. I do think Shadow Pan will be fun. I was actually thinking about playing with that instead of this Conduit of the Celestials, but the one million nature damage really, like, caught my eye, and then it has not been that much at all. It actually is a little... Kind of underwhelming, I think, the Conduit of the Celestials. It's basically just a bunch of damage procs, which could be good, but with the UI being really stripped down and the spec being completely different, I haven't really been able to feel a difference uh... yet. Or I guess I'm just more fixated on the Windwalker differences so far. So I think I'll just swap over to Shadowpan now and see if I even notice the procs. 
it's really weird. There's like I I used to have so different of keybinds for Windwalker and I had to change them all in the last expansion because they added like half a dozen keybinds and now now they're Are you all gone. For this last gem? No, I got the last guy. You're not I seeing a guy. I don't. I don't. No, I got. I got one guy, mm. and I don't have another guy. I mean, worst case scenario, I guess you drop the quest and do it again. The best. Uh, if you don't see a circle on your mini map. I see the circle, but. I'm and so I'm the guy's not there, it, but I don't have any of the dots for the hmm. guy. All right, I guess I'll drop it and redo it. Yep. And then I get to bug report it. Yep. Report that. I'll I'll report this too because I think what happened is I clicked a rock and it removed the rock for you, but didn't give you credit. So I'm gonna report bug. No, it didn't. It didn't remove the rock. It just um. I had to click the rocks too. But All right then. Yeah, I didn't get any credit for the gems because you have to get. I don't know. You get uh -oh. like gems from them. I'll let you bug report it then, because I'm not sure what happened for you. I see. I think I see where the problem started. All right. So there the are two follow-up quests. Yep. So I'll pick those both up, and then I'll just wait until you're good to go. Yeah, I think the guy that you're interacting with right there, I interacted with him at the same time, and it caused a problem. Well, you know, that's what we're here for. Did yeah, you that's right. Job. We're here to figure out all the problems. All right, one second. The class tree for Monk is very weird now. Okay. There's all these different things, like when you roll through an enemy, you slow them. When you interrupt enemies, you get cooldown on roll. You get cooldown on paralysis. You can remove enrage with paralysis, which is actually pretty cool. But there's just a lot of like, I guess you would call it PvP stuff. Transcendence, transfer, slows enemies. Uh, slows are reduced on you. Roll, remove slows. Like it's, it seems like it would be great for PvP. It seems like if there is some fight where there's tons and tons and tons of slows or something in it then monk would be great but i just feel like for 95 percent of pve applications this is just completely worthless which is fine i mean you, then you just path to all the stuff that gives throughput and you don't have to worry about slowing stuff but it is kind of weird oh i can't hop on that mount with you uh interesting i did set up my mounts to be able to be rideable i could hop on your other one but oh. it's a, i can't hop on a non-dragon oh. rider. yeah i'm actually in the same boat I can hop on yours. All right. Well, okay. One of my quests was to speak to some guys in here. So yeah, you use the gem um, and then talk and then go up oh. to the thing up at the top. Innkeeper, somebody. Okay, I see it. All right, great. Nope. <laughs> I understand. Just wait. They're not done talking. Go back in there. Yep, I got it. I've deposited the okay. memory gem. Go up. All go right, up top. Now I got it. Oh, did you go up top? Already? Yep. Yeah, you okay, go. got it. Wow, I've completed 10 quests. What is this game? World of Warcraft. Yeah, I'm on my way to completing the trading post. All right, let's go talk to an innkeeper. Ah, we've reached the point in the questing of a new expansion where they're like, all right, now we're going to teach you how to set a hearthstone. We're going to teach you how to use a flight master. All the new player training stuff. Oh, good, stuff. a really tiny doorway that dragons can fit through. Yeah, my horse that was uh, horse riding was doing just fine. I did have a weird bug in trying to just like use summon random favorite mount where it just kept summoning ground mounts. So I, for some reason, so I did have to, uh, do we want to pick unfavorite up? all of my ground mounts? Yeah, absolutely. Let's just do all of the quests. You know, we're decapi at level 73 and we skipped to level 71 so we could use the, um, oh, the flight master talents. icon is different when you approach them. It's still oh, a... interesting. Oh, it's yeah, still yeah. A... It's a little that. exclamation point on the map, but it's different. When you them. So they said this. This was actually something they said in the I don't remember what it's called Wowcast or something yesterday, where they were saying they updated all of the like quest bangs. That's what they call them, the exclamation points, all those type of things over the top of characters' heads. Basically, they've given all of them like, you know, a new look. Make them make them look good. Okay, I'm going to talk to Bran, my fave. 
I dress like him in uh, in retail. Actually, yeah, he's wearing the exact outfit that I wear, except he has a different hat. I like my hat more. But that outfit isn't on the PTR for whatever reason. We're really good at um, streaming and stuff. So, uh, oh, yeah. You know, super experienced. I forgot to tweet that we were streaming this, actually. Is that a thing you do? Yeah. I believe you meant I, X. You forgot to X it. People do. Uh, which direction do you want to go? You want to go... Oh, the trading post has been added to this zone. I only just realized that from that big coin. That's pretty cool. I have many goods for you to well, anyway. Goodbye. I do like that they... Dismounted me. Yeah, uh. I, yeah, I do like that they've incorporated the <laughs> trading post into the new zone, the new continent. I think that's pretty smart. You want to go southeast and do this side quest? Crossroads Plaza? Sure, sure why not? All right. Trying to untrack the trading post. That's an ordeal. Uh, there's another, a lot of other quests here. There actually. are a lot of quests. This re this really is a crossroads. Meet me at the crossroads. That's right. Okay. No, Picking up that quest had a yeah. cast time. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Had to open it. That's right. Wow, that bread crumbed us all around the world. You want to go straight north to Morning Rise? Uh, I've done. I've done the thing. I've tweeted the thing. Okay, great. Yeah, we can. We can go north. North. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I like Dwarf for, like, Warrior, and I really was excited about the Earthen Dwarves, the Horde available, like, Horde and Alliance uh, Dwarf race that they're putting in. I think they look cool. They look, you know, earthy, all that. I think they're great. But then I looked at their racials, and they're the one Dwarf race that doesn't have a bleed removal or a, de like, debuff removal mechanic. So they're completely dead on arrival. I don't know what they're thinking by doing that. It's like they're spitting in the <laughs> Horde's faces. This is me. I'm on my soapbox now. I'm very angry about it. I wanted to play a Dwarf all this time, but not have to be Stupid Alliance. And so now they've made a Dwarf for Horde that doesn't have the reason that you would play Dwarf. Certainly don't want to play it because, I, you know, like, I don't want to be four foot two. Uh, what are the quests here? This guy has another quest that we can't pick up. No, it's just a hand in. That's the new hand in bang is a grayed out exclamation point instead of a grayed out question mark. Interesting. Don't love that. I actually find that confusing. Yeah, me too. Yeah, earthen. I think earthen are taller. You know, it's not. I don't know. There's some like inconsistencies with height and stuff in WoW. Like technically speaking, Pandaren. I say this all the time. Pandaren are technically seven foot five and like five hundred pounds. So I'm like significantly larger than Shaquille O'Neal, but I don't look like it. I look short on a panda, or medium. But canonically, I think they're like seven three or seven five. They're and just gargantuan. just you know, that's not defile. That's that's my void. Uh... I don't know loud. if I'm seeing it. You're going to have to point it out to me uh, oh, next time okay. you do. It was not something you could easily miss, so I'm guessing you just can't see it. I guess so. It's a I have very... charged up 10 flurry strikes, so that's pretty interesting. Let them have it. I have. Well, it's all uh -oh. passive damage, which is kind of weird with this shadow pan thing where it's like, oh, all right, that was a very strange pattern for that jade fire stomp. Very strange how much of this is like all passive damage, but it does seem like it's doing a ton. It's one of those ones where, like, you won't really notice it exactly, and then, like, you look at the meter and you're, like, blown away by how good it is, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way. I do love World of Warcraft. Sometimes I get very annoyed by it, but I do like it. Just let it be known. I'm a quest hater. I hate questing. Yeah. But when it comes to a new expansion, I love flying through the quests. That's right. We usually we usually level several times. Like Yep. We like, gotta uh, get all them characters up. Talk about I, I say more than than several. Usually it's like five, six times. So that oh, yeah. when it comes to live, we're just like, Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh yeah, I remember this. And there will be some changes, but for the most part, it's really, really fast because we've done uh, all right, it so we gotta much. Kill a, we've got to kill a dozen guys, yeah. 
I'm sure there's people that level a lot more than us. Yeah, Positive. you know, it changes how much from expansion puddle, to expansion. The black puddle underneath the guy? No? I don't at all. Oh, it's growing, it's growing, it looks like defile. Are you seeing my blue and green suns? No. Okay. Wait, where's the setting for other people's effects? Oh, yeah, Maybe that's, we have that it's turned. probably in graphics, and I bet I do. All right, let's open that graphics setting. Because I want to know, I want to see... Dynamic culling, something like that. Spell density, dynamic. Uh, I'm just going to set no. it to everything, which seems like a really bad idea, especially on the alpha. I'm going to set it to most. That's what I'm going to set it to. I'm thinking everything might crash the client. Well, it hasn't really for me out. yet, but you know. Mm. All right, we've um, killed six you, guys. Did, did you go inside and get these things? Oh, no, yeah, I got one, and then I got the other one just now. Uh, I got one other to go, I guess. It's weird playing without weak ores, but oh yeah, I'm making it work. Weird it's fine. All of my add-ons, but I'm. I guess I'm also kind of used to it since this, we have to do this every time. That's true. I think the, the bigger adjustment is this. First of all, I'm not playing a tank spec, and then this is a very, very changed version of Windwalker. A bit more like the old version that I liked hey, more, uh, though. Hey, there's a one-handed so. axe treasure over here. I don't know if you cool. can loot it. We're it definitely right at a dozen guys killed now. Uh, I see it. Let's try that. Forgotten axe. And it didn't give me anything, so I guess it remains forgotten. Got it. Uh, I still have one more treasure the air, in and they still are aggroed too. So maybe you aggroed some birds and they're just flying up to get you. Nah. Okay. I definitely feel like I'm doing more damage since switching to Shadow Pan. I can't tell the difference, like in terms of I don't have a damage meter or anything, and I'm not really seeing more numbers. But it definitely feels like the damage has gone up. I feel as though I'm hitting. Uh, 10 stacks of the what is this called flurry strikes i feel like anytime i look over like okay right now i'm looking over and it's at four but basically every other time i've looked over i'm already at 10 so that's good there we go 10 Ooh, this is this is fun you're gonna like this when you come up here all right i'm gonna come up there now me. i'm just enjoying the killing that's fine Eh. I'm not calling anybody out for being mean. Just don't don't be too mean. <laughs> um yeah, I mean auto uh auto mod caught you, so I uh, I don't even know what's going on. If you're having a bad day. This is a ladder that seems to just be going to nowhere. All right. Yes, it's uh, going to the people that are down in the cave. Oh, I see. Interesting. I'm not able to interact with this one. I don't know. Oh, I see. There's a, a bomb that I'm supposed to throw, a quest item. You would think that would pop up as an extra action button or something, or just like a one-click interact. And instead, we're doing it the Burning Crusade way, where you have to click the item that's in your bag. Yes. All right, then. Technically, over here in the quest section, so I guess the cat away. Are you these guys that have names? Workmaster Nast? Yeah. Oh, you're coming over here. Got it. Got him. Do you see my puddle? My defile puddle? I don't. I still don't. Oh, Even with no. everything turned on. We're going to go ahead and go back to the graphics settings and set that back to dynamic. Uh, I guess I don't need to kill any of these candlelit big boomers, so that's fine. Uh, just two more named guys. Hairless the Menace and Workmaster Earwax. Alright, that's, those are names. Kobolds. Oh, well, I botched my roll. And then we'll just wait on this guy to get up. I, I am back the down channel again. manager of WoW at Night and... Pat that's right, that's right. 
have not touched anything except monk yet other than like training dummies for a couple of minutes on uh paladin and blood dk and i haven't played around with any of their talents yet uh like their hero talents which you can't unlock all the hero talents so it's like a vendor or whatever a guy in the middle of orgrimmar who will unlock them all for you and then give you this awesome debuff 20 percent less damage and healing I assume that'll be going away in later phases of testing, of course. I think just based off of what we've seen from a couple of hero talent setups so far, that 20% less damage is still, like, uh, not a hard trade-off for the amount of damage that you get out of hero talents. I mean, good grief. That was, so, that was a tiger palm. I have a comment on the... Uh on the other mounts using dragon riding the yes ghastly charger he's not ready for that speed he's not ready for the smoke <laughs> yeah some of the mounts look pretty decent like i think that the gmod looks okay flying around uh... but then the moose the moose was looking preposterous are you here with the uh, grand heister bach i am All outside right, the gate the cave good lord he's dead yeah, and, like, we're yeah, wearing exactly. very, very low item-level gear, so I imagine doing this stuff they also at told higher us levels. They that our damage and healing was reduced, and I'm yeah, like... Yeah, 20%. Yeah, I don't know, okay, I don't know but... if that's working. I mean, yeah, I guess, I you know, it's not I fair to... So. Wait, where are you going? I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, east to hand in? Yeah, okay. Is this a different... I think this is a different quest, Bob, entirely. This is... Well, well, sorry, I got us mixed up with a different quest hub. That's fine. We'll do these guys' quests now. It put us next now. to it, though. That was weird. We were just right over there. We were only like 2200 and something away from it. Yep. And there's a flight point over here, anyway. His name's Lerold. That's right. Clans don't have feet. Yeah. Wait, what? Fire honey placed in the nectar. I don't. Uh, I'm supposed to walk over here and touch this thing. Is that it? That seems to have been it. Okay. In the mortar. Oh, I see. I see. We're using honey, honey and dirt to make something. Maybe this is one of those situations where reading would have been helpful, but I'd rather just not have any idea what's going on than have to read. Um, yeah, I don't really know. What... Which one did you click once you had the honey? Uh, this thing here. Oh, I tried clicking that, but I can't click Extra it action button, maybe? And then I clicked the big oh, goat yeah, here with the enormous like, horns. Off my screen. That... Those horns are e insanely huge. This guy would topple over. He is so top he or front heavy. Maybe they're hollow. Maybe they're show horns. Like we can see you're struggling with some stuff. Yeah. Well, what is it? What is it you need? All right, you ready to go get the trimmer stones to south of yeah, here? Yeah, I'm on your Okay, mount. cool. I see that. All right. Let's see if these are shared at least. Yes. Okay, great. Okay. I feel overpowered. Me too. <laughs> uh, there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh. Okay, right, two down then. below. And one more to set somewhere. Over here, maybe? Oh, swimming is much like walking, except you can steer upward and down. All right, we're close to that. Good to get the basic tutorials on, like, how to walk and stuff. It's all the way up at the top of this waterfall. Talk to Harmit. Yeah, I think it is, Hammy. I think it yeah. I think it is. 
a little bit. All right, yeah. we got to find some fire honey and some mud. Did I pick up all these quests? No, I didn't. It's only two. Do you want mud or honey first? Don't care. All right, let's go south and get that mud, that dirt. Who will win, a dragon or a tree? Tree, every time. Often the tree, yeah. Am I lagging? Oh, a little bit. I think if you fly into... I just got an alert telling me how to use the mouse in Warcraft. Yeah, yeah, because mm. you, you started to swim. Hmm, okay. Excellent. That's not healthy. Mm -mm. But, you know, we're not doctors, so we're not giving no, any medical true. advice. Yeah, so, I don't have a... You know? Yeah. I mean, who's to say that I even know what's healthy? Maybe that's the right Which, way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? I have all these globules. Am I supposed to... Oh, I see. You're supposed to use a quest item in your bag to make stuff. Oh, my God. This is Burning Crusade. Oh, I... I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's old uh, school. Squish the chunks. Uh... Oh, yeah. Squish uh... the chunks. I don't feel well. <laughs> That's right. Squishing some more chunks. I'm at 8 of 20. Oh, I found out what's lagging me, like what's causing big frame drops for me. It's your your kitty cat. Oh, Schwen? Every time he pops out and then it puts a bar for him, it's like, surprise, no frames. <laughs> Interesting. So it's like a UI issue that's causing I think so, the yeah. frame loss. Fun. Yeah. Wow, Fist of Fury does not feel wow. like it does a lot of damage. Considering. <laughs> I can just pick up dirt off the ground. That'll All work. Right. Blake Blake is gonna have uh, a little time to himself. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You there, come down off that rock. That's right. Uh, okay, I'm pretty close to done here. I need, like, one more dirt pile, something like that. Same, yeah. Actually, I need one more... Yeah, dirt pile, actually. <laughs> um, Alright, that'll yep, do. I'm done. Yep. Oh, I have unspent talent points. Great. Uh, yeah, same. Okay. Huh. Uh, flying up north to collect the honey, I suppose. I assume we're just gonna have to, like, kill some bees, or... Okay, nope. Not bees, exactly. Oh, uh, yes, these are those new honey slimes. That's right. A honey elemental, which, you know what? Not bad. I'm down for that, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Doesn't sound bad. Sounds delicious, actually. Yes. Okay, well, that... Took care of that. I guess we can just go back to the west and hand in those. Oh, two. you're you're dragon riding on that. Yeah, it's very strange. Is it? Uh, is it like really separating out the things on your screen? It, you're it is. That? It really is wiggling them back and forth. They got that That's wiggle funny. bone physics on the like the thrusters. That's and really they are funny. Really all over the place. Accordion style. Yeah. Uh, we gotta go talk to a guy wearing a tree hat. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to hop on a horse and horse ride up. Oh, all of two feet away. Thankfully, you respectfully put me back over here. Oh, no. That has a currency reward. All right. That that worked. I think so we've done this quest you... line. Did you stop playing in BFA because you were just bored of the, like, minutia that BFA required? Because that is a common complaint, obviously, about BFA. Oh, yeah. Are you waiting? I can't get on that. Oh, you can't? All right, well, let's just fly no. west. Only your, Hello. Only your, like, specific dragon riding mouse. Like, dragon. Hmm. 
from that extension. Well, yeah. Okay, then. That's not ideal, yeah, but that's fine. The, uh, Hopefully they'll get the that other... sorted out. I don't know. I mean, they would have maybe they don't to require want a small model of everything, so I don't think so. Yeah, maybe they don't want that to be the case. I They'd assume they would just give miniature. you a default, like the default dragon riding a little mini it, Drake. Yeah. 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 Oh, mini spectral, uh, uh, ghastly uh, thing. That would be cool. That would be very All right, cute. more gathering dirt. Excellent. I love dirt. Yeah, a lot of people quit when Shadowlands happened. It, it was probably... Is it controversial to say that Shadowlands was the worst expansion? Uh, you see, can say you that about that a lot really, of them. You know that I really don't like Warlords of Draenor, so yeah. for me, that that's like the worst for me. Warlords but, of Draenor had some of the best class design they've ever had, like bar uh, none, yeah, I mean, and I it had a lot of it had like three months design, of content. And it was a two year expansion. Yeah, I didn't like the content. I also didn't like having to go out to that quarry every every week. Day, oh whatever. yeah, the quarry. Yeah, and then I also lived having in that to quarry mine, for the first couple of weeks. Like having to go do the the thing for rep for your trading post, and then having to mine stuff every day, having to yeah. garden every day. It was like a mini half hill in your garrison, and yeah. you were alone. It's very yeah. boring. People did like or did not like how much they were forced to be alone throughout that expansion. That's true. Yeah, it was a very lonely expansion. Wait, are you done here? over there? I I have. Uh, all of one thing done, and then I need a bunch of another thing. Can we get them? Oh, yeah. We get them from the storm door. fangs. Okay. And where are they? Oh, here they are. They just spawned. Oh, they all just spawned. Perfect. Well, wad classic and legion classic to are gonna be showing up at any point. I'm sure. Just a couple years. Just a couple more years, and you can play wad and legion classic again. <laughs> I am actually liking the, uh, or I did enjoy the Pandaria time running thing. I thought that was really cool. And I would like for them to do a version of that with Wad. I think that's the best way to experience Wad. It's like a three month event because that like perfectly nails the amount of content that was in that version of the game. Okay, so these guys don't have a 100% drop rate. That's a bummer. That was one blackout kick. Okay. Doing a lot of damage. Okay, I'm done. So right now leveling is capped at 73. So I think they're only letting us play around in the first area, Kazalgar, which there's no, there's not a proper in-game map for it yet. It's just it's like the topographical map. So basically, you just get to do like. I'm not sure how many quests, probably a couple hours worth of questing. I don't know how much we'll do tonight, but some quests, at least. And I would say, I don't really feel like we're, like, getting, a, like, leveling that fast. Like we I don't just know, leveled just leveled up. First time. Yeah. Yeah, but... Usually the I first mean, level of, a, of an expansion is knocked out in, like, the first 30 minutes or whatever, and I don't know how long we've been going, 45, so... Maybe it's about on par. We had kind of a slow start, though, because That's true. we were figuring out some other things. Why Stream are none stuff. of these, like, registering as... Oh, the... I know why. Oh. I know why. This is that uh, Wrath of the Lich uh... King do some stuff quest. Okay, I got it. I misunderstood what everything is. Those are cores. Those I'm a great are, helper, those are ore, and that's stuff. According to... All right, I'm ready to begin. It's the wash the laundry, it's the brew the brew in Sholazar Basin. Foot wine. It's the make foot wine in Legion. It's yeah. Wait, I think he got Oh upset. new new Windwalker oh. monk is insane. Yeah. We got all of them actually. They have a, a NPC to unlock all of them and yeah. So we got to unlock everything. If he you unlocks all of your hero real quick. Yeah, he unlocks all of your hero talents and he levels you up to seventy one. And then you also continue to get hero talent talent We're points because that's doing this, Lerald. Yeah, I think so. Okay, you talk about that. I'll do the quest. Uh, yep. Right. So there's a guy in the middle of Orgrimmar 
quest or torrent or something, you talk to him and he will let you like automatically level to 71 and unlock all of your hero talent points. And then he also puts a debuff on you. This right here, 20% less damage and healing at level 71. I guess that goes down as you level up to compensate for the fact that you have all your hero talents. I still feel a lot stronger than I would have, I think, uh, not using them all. They're pretty strong. Uh, I've only played with like the Shadow Pan and Conduit of the Celestials setups for Windwalker. They're both really good. But yeah, it keeps telling us because that's not like an actual in game system. Every time you level up, you then also still get hero talent points. So I'm just sitting on several hero talent points uh, <laughs> that I can't spend. There's nothing to spend them on. So. Don't, don't talk to him. He's struggling okay. a little bit. No, oh, all right. I'll wait until you're done. All right. I'm gonna have to definitely gonna have to bug report this. They also reworked the whole uh spell book. Like the spell book is now one of the tabs along with talent, specialization, and then spell book. And as you can see, it's huge. Fills up the screen. If you have other stuff open while it's active, then it'll knock it down to one page. That's okay. There's also like a general tab here for like pulling out racial skills and like i don't know teleports and stuff it's a little weird it's kind of laid out in a way that it took me like a couple of minutes of looking around to find this tab when i was trying to like put racials on bars a little strange i think it looks better than it does in retail but i don't know i could see some people complaining about it filling up the whole screen and i think that's a fair criticism i think it's generally better though Okay, we have finally moved past the very first thing he asked me for. He would not accept it before. So. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're on the third thing. Yeah, exactly. It's weird. I mean, like, I, I understand why they're doing hero talents instead of more talents in the trees and not expanding the trees any further. But, like, there are a lot of talents that, in, that are in the tree that I can't take right now that I would like to take. And I, I do want them. I, like, I would be nice to be able to pick up a lot of these talents. There's some really good stuff in here. Crafting for some of the stuff is in. Uh, they said alchemy is basically almost done. Um, they're going back to using hour-long flasks instead of the 30-minute files. 30-minute files are just going to be for like crafting okay. speed and profession stuff. Go ahead. Mm hmm Yeah. I mean, I like what they've done with the hero talent trees where most of it, you just get all the points and then there are a couple of spots where you're like, you get a choice of, uh, where's the ore? Okay. You get a choice of like, well, some choice nodes. I think that this is mostly pretty good. And I think this talent right here, predictive training might be good enough to make shadow pan worth running as brewmaster for a lot of stuff. Just having basically... 10% damage reduction anytime you dodge or parry as a brewmaster. You're basically dodging all the time, so that's like permanent 10% DR. That's pretty good. But I don't know. I think the other brewmaster talent tree that they unveiled yesterday, Master of Harmony. Very, like... I, I don't even know what that name would in, imply. Like, it doesn't... What does that mean? Master of Harmony. That doesn't really correspond to anything. Like, Shadow Pan... That makes sense. Conduit of the Maybe Celestials. Maybe that's like the voiced men talent or whatever. I, yes. Yes. It doesn't mean anything. Like, I don't even... I get it as, like, a Mistweaver thing where, okay, it buffs, like, all of your heal over time stuff, but as Brewmaster, I don't know. But then the actual powers are, like, a second charge on Celestial Brew, which isn't implemented right now. A lot of this stuff isn't implemented, but it looks really, really strong. It basically makes it so that you store 20% of all the damage you do and 10% of all the healing. And then when you use Celestial Brew, you get like a damage over time effect that you apply um, over the next eight seconds based on like all of that damage you've stored. And then one of these talents here, this one right here, when it ends, it splits all the remaining damage. Like that seems just insanely, insanely strong, turning like Celestial Brew into a major offensive cooldown and just giving you like this big multiplier on all of your damage. Are these guys still talking? Come on, fellas. No, oh, you can mount inside this building. All right. Cool. Yeah, I'm also a really big fan of passives. I like not having just one other thing to man manage, but I know a lot of DPS players 
really want something else to manage, especially, you know, for like burst windows, but uh eh. <laughs> I do agree with you on that. Uh, the Shadow Pan talent tree it's uh, like I think it might actually be a really good set of bonuses. It's certainly been demolishing everything I interact with as Windwalker so far. So it seems good, but it is a like a complete misnomer. Uh, I'm trying. I showed you my lantern. Please respond. Yeah, <laughs> it's not working. He's this guy has memory problems. He forgot who I he was really while I was helping him. He forgot what he was doing. He doesn't know what's going on. And now he's going to walk real slow. I have mixed opinions on making defenses add offense, because then you have this frustrating situation where you either need to just fire him on cooldown all the time, which is an almost never the right play for defense, or you have to sit there and hold an offensive cooldown so that you can cover something defensively. And that's just, that's infuriating. That's the worst feeling in the world to be like, all right, so I'm just going to lose multiple uses of my major offensive cooldown because of the fight specifics. Like, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. But it's you kind of annoying. Do you want to go back to the campaign or do you want to keep doing the... You know what? Let's go back to the campaign. That seems more interesting. Okay. We did some stuff. We got to play around with some honey and some dirt and that... That was an experience, but yeah, it's I've... over now. Oh, uh, man, I missed clicking things. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Shaw of Pride. It's interesting, thinking about Pandaria again from doing the Pandaria time running. It's like the whole thing with Shaw was that they were manifestations of emotion. Is pride an emotion? It's a, uh, it's a deadly sin, but isn't it emotion? Maybe. Where is this? Inside? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take this teleporter down. Oh. Alright, cool looking teleporter from BFA. Oh, okay, we're in the main teleportation area. I think this might be the main quest hub of the expansion, maybe? Oh, I just walked in the door and came in on this level, so I don't know. Hmm. Let's see, mm. what are the other sins? Yeah, he can skip this conversation and tell me another time. Yeah, that sounds good. That's a great option. I love that. Gluttony. Gluttony's not an emotion. No. Lust. Is lust an emotion? It's a sloth sin. Sloth is the other sin. I, I feel pretty slothful, oh, but I don't think that's a... No, I didn't. I don't think that's a emotion. Oh, we have to use... Oh, we have to use this up here. Okay. Wrath. That's a deadly sin. It's similar to anger, fury, rage, but it's not the same. Yeah. Talking, my favorite. Yep, more chat. Well, that's what you sign up for with a campaign quest. All right, one big positive that I have. Yes, it looks like we go way south. Why does that not have a number in it or anything? Yeah, I noticed that this has been happening with a lot of the quest objectives. They'll just throw throw the uh, ellipsis at us. Don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I see mining carts moving. Those look fun. Excellent. I love a mining-themed area with moving carts. It's always oh, fun. I recognize this particular layout of a town. This is yeah. very Cataclysm. This is very... Um, very much so. What is that zone? I'm blanking on it now. The final questing area of Cataclysm. And then all the dwarves are there. All the dwarves are there. It's right here. It's this one, Twilight Highlands, and they're up here in this area. Yeah. Twilight Highlands. That's it. Are you Edelgon? All right. It's a oh, cutscene. We're going to get more time. Star Wars text. We're going to be skipping that. I'm going to guess the answer to the question was yeah. But then they had to have a cutscene about it. Uh, there's a quest over here in this building. Way down in here with Agartha. Alright, so let's look at how tall these earthen dwarves are. So they do look taller than regular dwarves. I am I am staring down at them, though. I can look at the top of this guy's bald head I'm a blood easily. Elf, so here. 
you go. Yeah. Yeah, so you're what, like six foot four? Six foot, just one of those like typical <laughs> six foot four ladies. And yeah. she's probably like five eight, like a normal sized person. So I do think these Earth and Dwarves are probably like normal human sized people. But then humans in Warcraft are all like, I'm a regular human man. I'm six foot seven. Mm-hmm. I'm a normal Pandaren man. I'm seven foot five, 500 pounds. Right. Mm hmm. Healthy weight. Yeah, I'm, I'm a two Shaquille O'Neal's. Do you want to pick up that or you want to wait until we finish this? Uh, I'll wait. All right. I'll yeah, wait. let's just finish this quest and then we'll go get that other also side quest. I think we're just picking up boxes to hand out to people. They've got weapons and stuff. Oh, uh, we also have to recruit people. All right. A lot of talking. A lot of talking in the quest thus far in this expansion, and that's fine. I do like the aesthetics that we've seen so far. I like this Twilight Highlands y dwarfy Galeron area. Sewer turtle? Okay. I'm gonna see what this treasure is inside this building. Nope, that's, I'm not. That's what I was talking about. Yep. Look. I think it's on top. Yeah, it is. Yep. Oh here it is. Oh, you have to offer it some food. Oh. I don't have that food, so. What does he want? A project for later. What's Dornish Pike? Oh, I bet you have to fish to get yep. this turtle. That would make sense. It's yeah, a probably. turtle. Do turtles eat fish? I'm not oh, look, there's that up on turtle. One mailbox because food preferences. We can only have one of those per town. Okay, so I think we're getting sent out of town to talk to some of these other people. Yeah, southeast of here. There's more warriors to recruit. Do you want to pick up that before we leave, or no? Uh, you know, it's disappeared from my screen. Yeah, okay, yeah. North side of town? Yes. Picnic tables. Oh, I like these. Oh, actually, there's a thing over here to talk to somebody. Like, right over here. Can you share that quest with me? Yeah, I will share uh, this quest with you. There's some very cool-looking picnic tables over here. Or maybe these are research tables. I think they are. There's pottery I'm on them. I'm at the mines. Okay. If you want to come over here. Yep, sure. Definitely not picnic tables. <laughs> yes. Um, I agree. Let's stock up on supplies before we head in. All right. Oh, are they going to teach us about delves? This is the feature I think I'm most excited about, and I think we're going to get to do this together. You proceed through the fog gate together, and we're going to do it at tier two. I'm feeling like a big boy. Okay. I'm pressing anyway. enter. It's not doing anything. Oh, okay. Okay, now it's doing something. All right, now we go in. Hello, Bran. Bran? Bran again? Bran? All right. These are like... Oh, he gets to ride in the cart. That's right, and we have to watch. Uh. <laughs> oh, I think I was supposed to grab those uh, supplies at the entrance. Oh, oops. Yep, definitely was. Well. Off to a good start so far. Yeah, we're doing great. We're professionals, guys. Don't worry. We got this. Oh, yeah. Bran is having an experience. <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but he's really, he's struggling. Oh, no, I just, I'm, uh, I'm huh. looking very closely at a spider that's attacking. Huh. So you can choose skills for our boy. So my... Okay, then. Shadow puddle that I was talking about. It's very ominous, and it's a shame you can't see it, because it's a yeah. mobile defile. Yeah. And it's very cool. All right. That's pretty cool sounding. I've been waiting all this time. I switched over to Brewmaster a while ago with the intention of, like, seeing how this talent setup works, and then we haven't had any combat in, like, I don't know, 10 minutes. Here we go, finally. All right, let's see if we can spawn some real fellas to kill. Get some, uh... Mm. Something that'll actually live for a couple of seconds to use my Celestial Brew damage thing on. I completely agree with that. I think there need to be more evergreen solo content. 
uh, avenues. Like, Mage Tower is good. I like it as, like, a challenge thing. And I, I would like more that are just explicitly like that. But, okay, let's Celestial Brew and see how this works. I can't really tell any difference. <laughs> uh, but I think there should be definitely, like, a lot more of that kind of stuff. It's probably one of the most, like, non-controversially, positively received things that they've done in the last ten years. Just bringing back the Mage Tower. People are really happy about that. You want to run around here and click... I'm going to head... Are we heading up? Or yeah, I'm killing up? this rare here, too. Stolen oh, Loader. Oops. Oh, I can just tot it. No. Oh. Not for its full health pool, though, apparently. Oh. Okay, oh, we're getting powers. Torgas. Yeah, Torgas powers are back. Goody. Okay. Welcome to Torgas, guys. Oh, this is a lot less uh, terrible version of Torgas, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, I didn't have to start basically as like a yeah. little infant. That's right. Trying to make my way through. Man, Torgast on the beta was so good, and then they completely like they got to the end, and then they just forgot like what makes roguelikes good. Uh, I have a quest thing over here. Here we go. Over here. The whole point of a roguelike is to be like extremely overpowered. Like, to revel in being a god. It's a power fantasy. And they, like, then they tried to tune it down and balance it and make it slow and methodical right at the last minute. Such a good concept. I tried, to, hmm. tried to grip you, and it told me you're not in my party. That's right. <laughs> I don't know. You're not in my party or raid group. I will say I've gone out to the Mage Tower just a handful of times at like four in the morning and there will be like 25 people, 30 people there. Now that might be the only shard that's available on North America of people that are doing it. I doubt it, but like it does seem like people still, even now, are like really doing a lot of that Mage Tower. It's something I've noticed a lot of just going out there I random times with... a day. That it's just tons nah, of people. I agree with what Ben said. I don't think enough people were doing the solo content. I think people are I mean, playing maybe. an MMO to play with other people. I mean, and that is I true. I think there's obviously a small set of people who love to solo stuff and love to pet battle and whatever, but I don't I don't know. I don't know if Mage Tower is it, really. I don't know it's why definitely my... not for me. I'm not a Mage my... Tower enjoyer. I don't know why my Chi Wave is not firing. That's whatever uh my divine star is um it's wilding out i don't know what it's doing it's like bouncing between things yeah all right interesting fine, i'm gonna see hope oh, braun is going nuts again yeah he's booking it we're under attack All right, let's see if maybe that was causing a problem. Nope, G-Wave's just not going to work right now. Interesting. Oh, I see. G-Wave has been turned into a complete passive. I see. Oh, this is so much better. Wow, how did I not notice this already? Okay, great. Rising Sun Kicker Vivify now releases a free G-Wave every 15 seconds. I love this. Oh, that's wonderful. And that makes all of the stuff that synergizes with Chi Wave really good, and all of the stuff that synergizes with Chi Burst, and the fact that Chi Burst is still a cast, hilarious. Why? Well, at least they found a way to make Smite look interesting. It's now turns into a big shadowy thing, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty interesting what they did with Expel Harm for Windwalker, where it's just like a passive now. I like that a lot, actually. I want something similar for Brewmaster, but I don't really want to lose Expel Harm as an on-demand big heal, but uh, I've been feared. I thought I was going to kill him before that went off, but that did not happen. Yeah, I'm a little underwhelmed by the damage from this bonus so far. I think it's probably because a lot of this stuff is not yet implemented. Like this one that seems like it's really, really strong and makes everything spread and all, and also just give you like 10% more damage a lot of the time. That's not implemented. The two Celestial Brews isn't implemented. Let's try Shadow Ban as Brewmaster and see how that works instead. Yep, Bran is teleporting again. I have, I have unspent talent points again also. That's not going to get old. Yep, 
Is this guy's name? I misread it for a second. I thought it said Webinar. It's Abinar. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh snap. I was, just, I was just run over by a minecart. Yeah. Really? All right. That was that was tier two, which there are several tiers of all the delves. I think my biggest criticism or my biggest like concern, I would say the button bloat for Windwalker is a lot better. The button bloat for Brewmaster is basically the same. I think yeah. my biggest problem or biggest issue with the delves so far, just like based on their what they've said they want it to be, is it sort of like ends at normal or heroic raid and like I I would like it to continue all the way up to like the mythic raid level of difficulty. I want it to be a comparable solo experience to doing mythic raid, mythic plus stuff. I think we're done. I don't know how to get out. Oh. Levo bot seven thousand. That's great. So in here I can't buff you with fortitude or anything. Interesting. Interesting. Very weird. Uh, all right. I guess it's... we we did it. No, it's we not working out here anymore either. Huh. Oh, I guess we all have right. to like leave. I maybe. do like the seamless zone transitions. I do think that's pretty good. That obviously they, okay. obviously they just stole that from like Elden Ring, Dark Souls, or whatever. But whatever. Those games are great. Steal from them all you like. That's a smart thing to do. It's not like they hold a monopoly on zone transitions. We got a, I got a trinket upgrade. Pretty conservative. I one. think I got some oil. I got a bunch of junk in my bag as well. <laughs> I got gloves. I got gloves with very ugly transmog. We'll fix that. Well, I mean, if we're going to be fixing trans... I, I mean, this, these clothes are hideous. Oh, I have to talk to Bran. Did you do the... Okay, you did. Yes. All right, great. Okay, thank you. Oh, who? Oh, man. Post-quest uh, uh, conversation. Like the final final scene of Pineapple Express when they're at the diner after having the had the climactic shootout and they're just talking. Yeah. I'm stuck in a tree. <laughs> they win every time, I'm telling you. Every time. They win in other games too. Grand Theft Auto. Trees are undefeated. True. Light poles, you can just blow through those things like they're popsicle sticks, but... Trees, just they're they're all made out of adamantium. They're cemented all the way down okay. to the core of the earth. All this right, now we a... got this quest where we I sit here at this table and I click some pots. Yeah, you have to agree to pick them up. Yeah, that's true. You have to sign a contract on each pot. Say so like, yes, I I agree. Henceforth and unto eternity, I acquire the property contained therein. Other Did lawyer you get language. That quest? Uh, which one? This, the one down here at the little gathering of people. There's another <laughs> What's campaign it called? Class. Um, uh, no, maybe? Building blocks. Yes. Yes, I do. I have it. I did. Uh, webbed ingots. Have you handed in webbed ingots? I think so. Yes. Okay, I'm handing that in now. Companion experience. Bran is leveling oh, up. Did I? Have... Okay. No experience for me. All the all the experience went to Bran. 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 I don't. I didn't have anything to turn in. Okay. So. Uh, quest to the southeast. Weapons and warriors. You want to go finish that off over there, and then all the other quests are to the southwest. No. Do you want to do these campaign quests, building blocks, and a natural remedy? Those are both to the west. Oh, they are. Yeah. All right. Bunch of ore to mine. Bunch of things to kill over here if you want to come test something out. Okay. Oh, and there's you know, let's a see how Shadow Pan is working for Brewmaster. Yeah, let's do let's the rare. Do that. Oh, it's a guy from uh, Drusfar. Fun guy, guy. A fun uh, guy. I'm. I seem to be lagging a little bit. Okay, I'm back to normal. I'm coming to get him. These screaming, stinky mushroom men with all their screaming and stinking. I do remember these guys fondly. 
I have Clash again. I like that. I have missed Clash. Still sad about Guard. Sad about Guard. Okay. okay. Cuffs of the Titan Cap. 437 Bracers to... Man, I already have 437 bracers, so I think I'm good. But these are blue, so I'm going to wear them. Hmm. Hmm. All right, there's a bunch of glittering ore around, a bunch of ore piles as well. They're not shared, which makes sense. Thank you. Thanks for, for tuning in. Bye bye. All right, I'm gonna kill some mushroom guys down here in the valley. Okay. Force of habit. I'm still tapping my uh, chi wave, hoping that it'll launch off a chi wave to pull from range. I guess that's one downside of getting chi wave. It's like a passive is. Now you have to actually pull from range with something else. Ugh. That basically just leaves Crackling Jade Lightning. I don't really want to go down in this cave, but I didn't see a lot of guys up there to kill. There are some, though. Just not a lot. These guys are making a real stinky set of sounds. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I don't, I don't yeah. Like no, it's pretty gross. I think we've gotten enough guys, probably. Oh, maybe not. We need one more Modena's belongings from these dudes. So, no, that didn't. That didn't give it. Oh, there's a, a hole at the end of that hole, and I think you actually do need to come down here, because you got to kill some more guys. Like this Ashen Which... Stonecaller. Oh, this, the hole Stone Stalker. In? Yep. This is a new cavern layout from any I've seen before, I guess. Oh, there's also a corpse down here that we need to loot, so we had to come down into this cave. There was no avoiding it. That makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. They wouldn't just put a cave in a questing area and be like, you can go in there if you want. No, you're forced. Uh -huh. You have to go in. So the nice thing about my puddle is it also slows mobs by 80%. That's good. So That's a lot of slow. Away. Yeah. They can't get out of the puddle. It does all the damage. Uh -huh. PvP really. thinking. Yeah. I think we're safe to leave. Just can't stop killing. I uh, understand. Well, I figure if I try to walk up, they're gonna aggro onto me. So, better to just kill, 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 instead of let them come try to kill me later. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, still need to kill some more of these I have another uh, mushroom guys outside out here. here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Brewmaster is definitely, like, I wouldn't say incomplete so much as just the exact same as it is in the last expansion, and the, the damage is definitely, like, noticeably worse than Windwalker, which it should be, but it is, so... We're going to go back to Windwalker. I always love those DPS specs hey, anyway. Hey, you should come back here. There's a guy we have to kill in this building. Okay. And he's being killed right now. All right. Coming to get him. Trying to get up there. I hear him yelling. Yeah, I've stopped. I'm just slapping him around now. I haven't. I'm not really casting on him. There we go. Got him. Right. See if I can he jump out the these holes. I don't think so. Nah, you third can't. One. Uh, you want to loot the things on the stairs on the way down? Do I? I don't have any things on the stairs. Are you looting glittering ore? 
No. Did uh -oh. you get the quest? I got the research notes. I see. I did not have those. Okay, I'll go get them. You know what? This is some pretty dense uh, questing. Although I am trying to pick these research notes up, and they're not they're not picking up. I think they're already picked up from you having picked up. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a bug. Yeah, I'm going to try dropping it and picking them up again, I guess. And then if it if it doesn't work, then I don't know. just report it and move on. That's exactly it. It's not working. I'm going to report it and go. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to kill that rare Rustle Titan Cap again. That's fine. But we do need to kill some more of these stinky boys. Yeah, I'm still looting ore too. My I'm God. The damage. It's too much. It's not, though. <laughs> yeah, so you know the Mistweaver talent teachings of the monastery that makes it so that when you Tiger yeah. Palm, you get multiple blackout kick hits. Yep. So they're giving that to uh, Windwalker as well. And then there's a lot of different interactions with it where you can stack it up to like eight times and you get like free stacks of it for doing different things. And consuming stacks will give you free, right, uh, what are they called? Empowered spinning crane kicks. Okay, we're done here. All right. We have that yeah. one quest to do the south weapons and warriors. We should go do that. Yeah, we can. Let's do it. Oh, there's an X on the map. What's that? Uh, where? Fly back. Oh, to I do see it. Is Watcher this like, of the south. Is this like a objective? A quest? Just a achievement? Probably just an achievement. Well, I thought maybe it would be like the Dragon Scale Expedition setting the things up, but that didn't seem to be the case either. Okay. Usually you get the like little mini achievement sting thing when you do like a part of an achievement. You do like an achievement objective, it'll tell you like you've completed this objective, but I didn't even get that, so I don't know. I'm going to tell these people they should fight with us. Or whatever. We're very persuasive, evidently. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I feel very strongly about it, clearly. I guess. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it is. That thing. Yeah. I'm, I feel incredibly strongly about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I climbed all the way up to the top of the tower. This guy is planning on jumping off, I think. Oh, she's a lady. I couldn't tell because she has an impressive beard, but yeah. Well, anyway. Now we fly back down. Definitely better to fly up to the top of that tower, considering how long that took. And, okay. Flying up north to hand in all these quests. You want to kill that rare? Yes. All right. Blood Maw. I'm using my conduit of the Celestials thing. Good gravy. And it's dead. Yep, it sure is. 437 helm. Same item level. Better stats, but, you know, then I have to transmog it. It's a whole thing. I've given up on transmog. That, uh, I haven't yet. All right, I'll do it. Ooh, that looks not so good. Well, you know, it's kobold themed, so that's interesting. I look very ridiculous, and now I'm shaking. How's that any different than usual? Eh. All right, so I'm just out here healing people the old school slow way. Yep. I'm bandaging them. That's shared apparently. Something to pick up, Fendorn, Fendom.
That guy's no, name what? is clearly Fen Dom. What am? What is? What are oh, we waiting? We're waiting. Yeah, you pick him up and then you throw him in the healing waters. You drown him in these healing waters and then he's fine, apparently. Uh, I can't. I don't. Where is he to pick up? Because I don't see him. He was like there, I think. Oh yeah, I see him now. Got it. No. Yep. For some reason, his marker was over here because he wants He's to made to, out of stone, right? Stone. Like, I get that these guys aren't that tall. They're like 5'8 or whatever, but they're made out of stone, so presumably he would weigh like 6,000 pounds. Like a life-size stone statue man that's very, like, stout also. Hmm. My like, pink keybind is not working. Huh. Like, he couldn't walk into a bathroom stall with his shoulders as they are, like, normal. He'd have to go, like, sideways to fit in. Stout like a professional wrestler. All right, I have another quest over here. I gotta wait till he's uh... done. Okay. Let's take a look at some of these. Celestial Conduit. Conduit of the Celestial's Talent Tree. I like those Swin's Guidance. Teaching of the Monastery has a chance to refund a charge when consumed. Like, that synergizes really nicely with all the Celestial, or the uh, Teaching of the Monastery, Whirling Dragon Punch stuff. That's pretty cool. It kind of doesn't synergize all that well with Jade Fire Stomp, though. Like, it would make more sense to come down and take Fur Fury of Zwin. Get more, um... More of that kind of stuff. Free move speed is cool. Free move speed procs, free healing procs, free damage procs. That's basically this whole tree. It's just proc, 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 proc. Okay. Handed in two quests over here. Uh, I came in here to do this quest, but I... I don't know that I have the quest. What is the quest? Oh, is it from Hreka? Yeah. Hope, an anomaly? Yeah. That's optimistic. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, on the table. Oh, okay. All right, they probably could make that glow a little larger. Yeah, it's like very, very, very faint. Yeah. Boy, I sure am uh, casting this for a long time. Okay. Well, I'm stuck in the casting animation. All right. And then we drop it in there. Okay, I figured it out finally. Uh, what is the right phrasing for this? Not really icons. Quest visuals were a bit difficult to read. Visuals were unclear. The item outline. Quest that item is better. Outline. Item outline was not easy to see. That's much better feedback than what I wrote, which was gibberish. Okay, there we go. And now we know how to make pots. So that'll be useful for all of our pot needs. That I have so many of. Yeah. I don't... I just came in here. I thought the thing was in here. Mm-hmm. It was just a little sleepy time area back there. Okay. Well, it's an inn. Yeah. You've, I apparently dwarves sleep. I didn't know. What is it that you're looking to do now? Uh, the concerning Fungarians. I'm trying to turn that in. Oh, that's the one with the notes that I wasn't able to pick up. I'm going to fly over there and see if I can pick those up now. I'm curious. It's, Maybe they yeah, have the timed out and they back work over again. Here. I just can't figure out where. Hmm. Oh, they work again. All right. Cool. Okay. I definitely overkilled that guy. I didn't need to pop multiple cooldowns yeah, to kill Zwin, a guy that yeah. I... I pop Zwin, I pop Storm, Earth, and Fire, and then I touch a Death Tim. Not really a great plan. 
You could have just done the one. Could have started at the end. Okay, where is the? Where is this? Yeah, see, so you're going into the sleepy hmm, time area yeah, too. Yeah, I got, I got baited here? as well. No, maybe. Yeah. Actually, maybe. Uh, no, it's twenty yeah. yards through that wall, so no. Oh. Boy, it sure seems like it though. Yeah, I I went on the other side and I didn't see a, another entrance, but oh, I don't know, I could have missed it. Uh, hmm. Hmm. There has to be an entrance somewhere. Maybe it is in there. Maybe it is through that wall. Maybe the question mark is wrong. Uh, oh, I think, oh, it's, I think it's this here. one. Yeah, that uh, makes more sense. Oh, dwarves. I like their gardens indoors. That's yeah, nice. I like that too. This is like, uh, this is very Twilight Highlands, but without being destroyed, without being bombed out and depleted. Yes, very much. I like it. This is what it's supposed to look like when it hasn't been smashed by Etten. Uh, next campaign quest? Uh, I have weapons and warriors to hand in over here to the east. We could hand that in, and then yes, I agree. Next campaign quest. So something I didn't tell you earlier that I read, uh, I think today maybe, is that after you've leveled your first character, you get a stacking 5% bonus to XP, and it stacks every should. time for all of As your you characters, should. and it goes up to 25%. So like that's I their way of invalidating. I excited about this, but it's so heirlooms. overdue that I just am in the as-you-should camp. Well, you know, the fact that it's going to work from the start of the expansion instead of being like, and now we're introducing heirlooms six months into the expansion, and then they don't even buff your XP anymore. Like, no, you know, it's from the start of the expansion. Your second character will be 5% faster. Your third will be 10 and so on. Like, I think that's pretty good. That works for me. All right, I'm about to absolutely incinerate these mobs with a... Uh, actually, no, that didn't do as much damage as I thought. Hmm. Yeah, I think the Shadow Pan uh, talents were doing a lot more than the Conduit of the Celestials, although I'm not really making great use of the Celestial Conduit skill, so let's see what this guy's up to. One and a half million health? I'm interested. I gotta go click this thing on... I'll help. Hopefully he's not like the Zandalari oh, guy that we it. kept running into. Yeah. That's actually jacking him up pretty hard, I gotta say. Feel pretty good about that. I like all the Celestials showing up to hang out. Like, I like all their animations and the concept of them is cool. I kind of... I wouldn't have minded that being a Brewmaster talent instead. But I'm not upset about it. It's the right move. Definitely it should be Miss Weaver. Miss Weaver should definitely be the guys that summon Celestials. As for the other two specs, I don't know. Let's kill this let's kill this guy. Let's kill this guy. Okay. I would love to see my uh, portal actually work. This one also? Which... Alright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's give him the let's give him the biz. Go. I am Okay. Alright. Bit of lag with some of the skills, that's for sure. Yeah, it's all those guys popping out to hang yeah, out. Yeah, it's you. my sons. Yeah. My brilliant Storm Earth and Fire boys. Okay, we have to set a picnic basket or something. Oh, weapons. I need a few pearls. That's different. Yeah, gotta kill more guys, I guess. Oh, you're way ahead of yeah, me on the pearls. Just, just... So you need one more. I need like five. I'm very lucky, Lerald. That's right. Natural 10 on the luck. My god. Those didn't even have any loot for me, even though I engaged uh -uh. them. I'm stuck on a thing. Something. I feel like this teachings of the monastery thing for Windwalker is going to get nerfed because it's really adding up to a lot of cooldown reduction on 
everything. I feel like even with the no haste that you... Oh, well, actually, I guess I have a ton of haste. Okay, well, I was going to say that even with no haste, I feel like all my cooldowns are very short, but... Like, I'm overloaded with... Yes, uh, Chi cooldowns is, and everything. Uh, yeah. That is a very accurate portrayal of, of Chi Chi. He's uh, doing his best. Is he going nuts? Uh, no, it's just somebody commented about him in the chat. Interesting. He does his best. That's all right. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to... Okay, finally. I went, like, for forever with no pearls, and then suddenly I got all of them in, like, two pulls. All right. Um... Oh, all right. I need to look at some of this dynamic flying while I'm on a horse. That's very strange. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't know really, if I like Really, really... I don't know how I love it. It's, it's kind of hard to tell when I'm, like, leveled off or pointing down or... I don't know. Bit odd. I okay. think the robots look pretty here. good. The horses, eh, I don't know so much about the horses. Uh, I have a very special kitty that I need to feed. Okay. Let me get off of this mount. He's hungry. Yeah, let's take a look at Ban Lu. Yeah, let's see how this guy looks while he's flying. I'm curious. Ban Lu flying around on a cat. Oh, yes, there's that voice. You know what? It doesn't look half bad. The horses... I don't know about that so much, but the the cats, the flying cats, they actually look pretty decent. Hmm. Yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> that is an interesting approach they've gone with for the, uh, like, surge forward animation of just doing the jump animation and then having them move forward as it's happening. I don't mind it. All right, let's see what Whirling Surge looks like. Okay. That is exactly as it was described. It is a Surge and a Whirl. Yeah. Bit weird. I mean, look, it's a flying cat, right? Like, it's not going to look natural because of obvious reasons. Cats don't fly. But, you know, it's all right. Right. So, yeah. Uh, You know what? We need to AFK for just one second. I got to clean up this cat food bowl here. So I'll be right back.
Oh, okay, we're back. We're back. Oh, and Dan Lu noticed that we're back and he immediately started talking. Okay, great. Um, just to answer your question, Anthony, yes, I would love to see a flying turtle mount. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why there isn't one, and I think that that's a misstep by Blizzard. That's true. <laughs> You know, I, now that I think about it, I do like turtles. Are you doing I've always wanted to. No? no, I uh, I was just flying around. Okay. I I really have wanted them to add Tortolan as a playable race. I was on that that group of people that really really wanted that. I just think they're cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I love the redesign to the white tiger statue. It's just completely gone for. Um, uh, Miss Weaver and Brewmaster, which, thank God. And then for Windwalker, when you cast Zwin, it summons a White Tiger statue, and that's it. There is no other White Tiger statue. You don't have to cast it. You don't have to keybind it. You don't have to do anything with it. It's just a proc that occurs when you summon Zwin. At your feet, I believe. They did a really good job with the, like... I think the animations on the turtles look good. The voice lines are great. They have really good voice acting on all the turtles in BFA. They were like the best part of BFA. The turtles. Especially that old lady turtle. That's right. But that quest sucks. Well, yeah, we do hate that quest. The the turtle sniper quest. Ugh. Yeah. Good no, voice line, good voice dialogue, whatever voice acting from that old, old gal. I'm stuck in a crouching animation. I think a loot animation or something. Very Not ridiculous. On my well, okay. I got out of it by mounting. Good. Hmm. A ring. Kind that of is weird a that that already tied up right. another storyline. I don't feel like we really. Yeah, I don't feel like we yeah, finished a storyline really there, but okay. I don't really know what we did. We handed out some boxes. Then we got some uh -huh. pearls, which apparently was good. And then that was that. I guess. I guess. I started to turn. I don't know why. Still straight ahead. All right, great. Okay, kill this guy off. I don't know why he where he came from. Spider. Uh, pick up a keg. Carry it around. Throw it into holes. Got it. Yeah, this is how you should do. This is how quests should this exist, is fun. right? Exploding yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is good. Fun. Well, also, yeah. like, you've got a quest where you need to throw stuff in a hole. Give us an extra action button. Point us to where we're supposed to go and press the button and throw stuff. Having to like click a thing over on the right side. No, man, mm -hmm. that's that's literally two thousand and eight design. Don't do that. I have two more burrows I need to blow up, and then I guess I have some more Nerubians to kill. This is one of those things I always look for whenever I'm doing this kind of quest. I see a bunch of little guys flying around. It's like percentage completion for killing guys. Let's see what the percentage completion for killing the little guys is. Maybe it's like 1%, or maybe it's a full amount. Come get some. Uh, it's 3%. That's pretty bad. All right. Well, worth a try. They were really easy, though. They did die pretty yeah, quick, and it's a bunch of them at once. So I do think they're still worth it. I am legitimately them. having like trouble using Whirling Dragon Punch just because I'm actually having like trouble getting both Rising Sun Kick and Fist of Fury on cooldown at the same time because everything dies so fast. I think Whirling Dragon Punch might be bait right now, even though I like it. I think it makes sense. Okay, that completed for me. Oh yeah, I remember those. All the quests for... Uh, oh, I can't remember. Donova Snowden? Is that right? That seems wrong. Some NPC in 
vanilla that you had to do the mechanical chicken escort quests in different zones. Perilous among them. Well, I'm listening. Did you complete both of those quests? Are you on yes. convergence? Yes. Okay. I'm converging right now. All right. I'm looking around this weird and topographical map. And another storyline is completed. Oh, okay. A change yep. of tradition, maybe? Yep. Okay. This we can do that. topographical map is I'll go there. a bit misleading. Well, I turned in the convergence and got another uh, campaign quest. a couple of seconds. Uh, yeah, you're a little bit ahead of me. All right. I'm coming over here to also hand this in and teleport down. I would definitely ride a giant mechanical chicken mount. Anything that lo is ridiculous as possible, please. I mean, I've always thought that's when Blizzard is at their best, when they're being super, super goofy. Like, I don't really play Hearthstone, but I think that's the thing that has been most successful about Hearthstone is just the aesthetic of being, like, fun and silly. You want to follow over here? Whoa, wh whoa, what is what What's is happening? This? I think we're both liking the alpha so far. I think it looks really good. I think this is going to be another pretty great expansion. I will say the startup was much better than others that we've done. The intro island, of course, we didn't we didn't start playing in the initial rush, you know, like of day one. But this is what day three. So well, this is day one of the like not super closed alpha for like people from. I don't know. The biggest streamers in the world, basically. What am I supposed to do with these? Oh. Like, please. this is the first day of the quote unquote more public alpha. Everything else was like closed. They weren't allowed to stream it. Yeah. So, for day one, I mean, we started at midnight, though. So, we weren't starting at peak hours either way. And I I thought it's been a smooth ride the whole time. I mean, there have been a couple of quest bugs, but not issues. anything horrible. Yeah. Yeah, we've had, we've, I would say when we did the BFA beta, that was probably one of our worst. We had so uh, yeah, many. Yeah, the worst. In fact, our footage is still on the channel. If you go and look at our Drusvar leveling, especially, um, there are so many moments in there where we're like, "Huh, it's an unfinished door." Oh, and it's also an unfinished floor, and you just fall through the building, and you're like, "Yeah, okay, alrighty then." Lots of fun visual bugs too. You walk up yeah. to somebody who's supposed to be on horseback, and they're standing on top of the horse. Yeah. <laughs> You there, get down from your horse and help me. Yep. Uh, I did the quest where you hand stuff to people. Another quest line complete. I would say this all feels pretty polished, all things considered. It feels pretty smooth. Yeah. Much smoother than others. Yes. I think I felt the same way about the Pandaria remix, which Pandaria should be polished. It's not exactly new content, but I thought Pandaria Remix worked pretty well. The only thing that I really felt like there was any sort of friction or anything that didn't really quite make sense that much to me was the amount of um, skill gems, whatever they're called, the different gems that give skills. Oops, I accidentally zoned into a dungeon, I think. Didn't mean to do that. I'm going to zone back out. Um, I, I just thought yeah, there were like too many sure. bonuses or skills or whatever, which is fine. Uh, it's Did good you, to have you... stuff for people to explore, but there was like a lot of stuff and the rest of this game mode kind of seemed a little stripped down or simpler than regular WoW. So for there to be like a thousand tooltips to read was a bit much. What do you want to do next? Um, go turn in this calling the storm riders, I guess. Okay. It's right here. Yeah. Talking to him. Now yeah, where to? Okay, else. the rookie is the rookery is not available in the campaign during alpha testing. Got it. Okay. Right. And the rookery is the dungeon that I think I just zoned into. Yeah. Hit the hit the dungeon journal. See if there's anything to it. There. The rookery. It's a dungeon. Can we look at some boss models? Okay, this is just a mount. This is a guy in some uh, clothes. And this is accurately named. It is a monstrosity. All right. Well. Oh, you can ask as many questions as you want. We don't mind. Oh, yeah. 
We love questions. That's why we try to answer almost every comment. Actually, yeah, they did say that they're bringing the follower dungeon system in. I'm going to skip this conversation. They said they're bringing the follower dungeon system in from the very beginning, and so they're going to have quests that do send you into dungeons, which I was like, ah, not as thrilled about that. But then the idea that you can just do follower dungeons instead of playing with other people. If you're somebody who really wants to play solo, you can now have a quest line that takes you into a dungeon and then you're able to do it without playing anybody playing with anybody else. Like, I think that makes sense. I think that's actually pretty good for the game to to have that functionality in from the beginning and it does the allow next more. The kill is going to level me. So. Yeah, you want to go to up. the meadery, the quest that's all the way on the east side of the zone? Campaign quest? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I think that's pretty successful. I do think follower raids make sense, but you know, I don't know if they'll ever go that route. I would like them to go the route that they did with the time running where you're able to do raids to level up. Like that was, I think far and away the most interesting and kind of cool aspect of the time running to me was like you hit level 25 and now you can just go do uh, Mogashan vaults to like get to level up, get XP, but then also get like, I would say gear, but it's not raid gear. It's just like more of the loot reward bags. I thought that was really, really fun and cool. Okay, so we have some stuff to do. As far as what we're doing right now, I like focusing on the campaign because, like in Dragon Isles, there was you had to complete the the campaign to get um to like unlock certain things, and so I just want to like always have the campaign done first to make sure that yeah. Like, usually, it seems like the approach that they're taking now with every expansion is once you finish the campaign, that unlocks the like world quest mode it unlocks world quest it unlocks doing not the campaign to level and so like that's the primary goal now sometimes they kind of waffle on this from expansion to expansion whether doing the campaign just just doing that and that's it is enough to get you to a max level or if you have to do other stuff they really they can never kind of consistently decide what they want it to be and it changes throughout the alphas and, and betas and stuff too so right now if this is if this zone is to be like the waking shore to be like you know about a fourth of the leveling experience but really i should say one of four zones but really it's more like a third of the leveling experience you know the first one's always usually always the biggest one and it seems like that's the case here we've hit we started at 71 because of the little leveling tech they gave us in order mar but we're we've been 73 i've been 73 for a little bit I'm 72. But You'll get I'll be 73, 73 off of this quest. Yeah. We're definitely not done here. We're at two thirds of the campaign, whatever that means. So, who knows how many quests are left? So, I feel like it's probably on pace to get you to max level by doing the campaign. Maybe a little bit of side quest stuff, maybe some dungeons. That'll do it. I think one important thing to keep in mind with the uh, us rus- rushing through the campaign is we understand that that's not really like the general approach, but. The majority of our expansion starts, we have been in a guild where there's day raiding involved and yeah. a lot of character prep and you have to prep, you know, five Usually six, six characters, characters since the there are week. six tanks. Yeah. I'm usually tanking one of every yeah. or yeah. So so the so goal we, is to so literally to level as fast as possible. Quickly so historically. that we can unlock the world quests, unlock the raids, unlock the dungeons. Level and alts then, faster. But yeah. That being said, we do 100% the, z- 100% the zones later. So. Yeah, it's just a thing you go back and do. And then, it, honestly, it's easier because now you have a bunch of gear from raiding and Mythic Plus and so on. Yeah. And so you're able to kind of blast through a lot of stuff that would be kind of slow. Like, you have to that quest said, where you have to kill a big guy or you have to kill rares or stuff. In expansions but... where the campaign wasn't something, you know, like before they started doing that approach... We did just 100% the zones yeah, first. Yeah, that's true. Nope, all right. I... Let Need me hit it with barrel. the... Yep, yeah, gotta throw that barrel. Well, the button despawned or disappeared for a second. I think I walked out of the quest area, but it didn't make me go back and pick it up, so that's good. You're 73? Yeah, you got 73 off the last set of quests. Good. 73 is the cap for now which is fine. I don't really care about that. They allow you to play with all the hero talents so that... Okay, what's going on here? Oh, I see. This is like a tower defense thing. And, okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, 
Huh. Got it. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. You're putting things on the lines where things are going to come in and attack the city. Okay, great. I assume I'm just going to let it all gather up and then I'm going to AoE it down, but maybe it's a type of deal where they won't allow you to AoE it down. Something like that. Um, as far as the path, like Pathfinder type achievement or whatever, um, that's unknown. There might be like a yeah special dungeon. There might be, um, there might be some sort of. So they do have the know, mount. Special character oh, power I see. Or I see. So yeah, I'm not allowed to just AOE stuff down. I have to use this vehicle. Okay. So they have the delve mount that they're putting in. And I'm thinking that maybe Pathfinder will pertain to the Delve mount. Delves come with some sort of fancy mount. Whoa. Static that you're able to customize. Cool. Yeah, that's Did you pretty use neat. Static Pulse yet? Yeah. To clear out the Nerubians. That was a pretty cool animation. This is going very slow for how many things I'm killing. Uh, yeah, I wish that the attacks were a little faster. I don't love good old vehicle quests all that much. I yeah. really would rather control my character for this fight, but, you know, that's how it goes. Yeah, I wish the AoE one would, like, recharge faster. Yeah, I would like and that. And I also have, like, one guy that I'm having trouble killing. He's, like, stuck underneath where their barrels are or whatever. So he's, like, out of line of sight. Yeah. Is this one of those ones where it's like, D does this actually work? Is this doing anything? I don't know. I'm assuming that this Queen's Guard Xerix is either a mob that we kill, like, in a quest, or it's something that's like the first boss of the new raid. We haven't gotten the flying machine yet. We did do a delve earlier. That was pretty fun. I liked the delves. I think they're like a good follow up to like some of those systems that they've tried in the past that didn't really work as well, like scenarios and um, what else, like island expeditions and Torghast. I think it's like a lot better version of those. We haven't gotten yeah. the mount from it yet, though. I think maybe you only get that once you're level 80, max level. And then I'm thinking Pathfinder will probably have some like customizable unlocks for that. That would be my guess. Or maybe just a mount. Maybe they just throw a mount at you for Pathfinder. That would be cool. Oh, we going fast, fast. Okay, oh, I'm yeah. catching up. Uh, I think that the hero talent tree that they announced yesterday, that they unveiled yesterday, looks really good for Brewmaster. Master of Harmony basically stores like a big chunk of all the damage and healing you do as a buff, and then when you use Celestial Brew, it uh, turns that into like a damage over time effect. And that's pretty cool. Uh, right now, it, there's a lot of components of it that aren't implemented yet, so it's not really doing all that much damage, but I think it probably will be really good. It also gives you a second charge of Celestial Brew, like a second Celestial Brew uh, cooldown. So it's just like insanely powerful just for that. The Shadow Pantry for Brew and Windwalker is like fully implemented. So I've been playing with that. And for Windwalker, it just does insane amounts of damage. For Brewmaster, it was okay. I think the stats on it are cool. There's definitely some good bonuses like this one right here. When you dodge or parry, you get 10% damage reduction for the next six, six seconds. So that's like basically up all the time as Brewmaster. But as Windwalker, it's not really that important. Um, you know, it's okay. I think that Shadowpan could actually wind up being good for Brewmaster too. But I feel like... The other one, whatever it's called, Master of Harmony. The theme on it's weird. I don't really get any aspect of that harmony there's not any mastery bonus i don't really i don't get it but it's good numerically and that's really what matters so yeah okay did you skip the conversation with that guy for this let's, absolutely yeah all right let's see whatever's gonna happen i'm guessing that we're gonna get a 
static image and then some Star Wars text again. All right, we're skipping that. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's it. I think we finished the campaign quest line for this zone. All right. Yeah. And so I Let's think that's, what, two and a half, three levels, and then we still have some side quests to do. So maybe it is tuned with the intention that you're doing side quests. I mean, yeah, that would be ideal. I think that'll be the ultimate, like, the ultimate determining factor on what tank actually winds up being good. Because right now, I think Paladin with the Templar uh, hero talent tree looks absolutely insane. I think the Mastery of Har uh, Master of Harmony, Brewmaster hero tree might be the single strongest one in the entire, like, of all of the tanks. But tier set bonuses are really going to be the thing that kind of separates the wheat from the chaff, the weak from the strong. No, you stole that rock from me. That's right. I did. Right. I'm a rock stealer. Rock That's thief. That's right. Rock thief. Like a like a DK uh, pet. That's right. Like a little little ghoul. Um, you know, I don't think that dragon riding speed is faster. It doesn't have the 829% move speed increase. That's weird. Instead of the usual 830. I'm sure that's a some sort of visual bug. I think that Right, it's slower in all the non-Dragon Isles zones, and then it's not slower in these zones. These zones are just like the Dragon Isles are made with the intention that you're going to fly around in them. So I think maybe that causes some of it. Maybe just some of the mounts look faster. Uh, Gotta kill some of these boyos. All right. Pop some cooldowns and kill this guy in two seconds. Yeah, don't yeah. kill the sheep. You're just supposed to click them and rouse them. Oh, them. okay. Uh, okay, Zwin right. has other ideas. Okay. Sorry, oh. sheep. You're dead. Apologies. I can't really control my cat. He's like that. I like the aesthetic of this expansion. I like the... Like these yeah. highlands, the dwarf stuff, all the lightning. I like all of that. Even though I'm not an alliance guy, I like... Okay, all right. Well, again, I wasn't trying to kill this sheep, but the game aggroed it. I didn't press any buttons to aggro it. I just decided I it definitely was didn't make any kill. mistakes and aggro any sheep myself. I definitely okay, great. did not do that. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we'll get panda paladins. I don't know that that's ever happening, though, to be honest. Lerald would be a panda everything, basically. That's probably true. <laughs> yes, they are supposed yeah, to. Yeah, so they are giving other classes to Drakthir, but they haven't said... They say they're doing it early in the expansion, which is different from saying they're doing it with the expansion. And I think the expectation is it'll probably be in like the 0.5 patch, like eight weeks after the expansion launches. Maybe the 0.7 patch, uh, another eight weeks after that. What's interesting, though, is like if you look at Drakthir and you think about them for a bit, not Evokers, Drakthir specifically, they have a massive amount of racial skills. They have... Uh, what do they have? They have, like, Mastery, and they have... I'm trying to remember everything. They have a Knock Up, a Knock Back. They have the, like, Dragon Riding Racial. They have Glide, like, being able to double jump and glide. I feel like they have one other thing that I'm forgetting about, too. I can't remember. So, either they'll change those up, or Drakthir will just be insanely strong. Also, another thing that they said, Ian said, in one of the interviews, was that they're... They're going to make it so that you can fight in visage form, like stay in visage form, non-dragon form the whole time, like even in combat. And I think that that's great. Like I like the human. It's somewhere between like a human and an elf, like a high elf looking model. I think they look really good. I kind of think they look better than a lot of the dragon models. So I think if I could stay in dragon form all the time, I'd probably play like a lot of classes as a Drakthir. All right, we got to interview some ranchers. I got to get up there. I just have a bunch of mobs that I was yep. killing that were on me. I'll come help. No, this is my last sheep. Good. Oh, you're murdering these poor, innocent I didn't sheep. I did 
the void puddle attacked it when it, <laughs> when it was done. Yeah. Yeah, see, that was what I thought that they should have done with Drakthir initially. And then I saw the, the like, human form, you know, whatever, visage form for Drakthir. And I was like, oh, you know, that's, that's cool. And it stands out. And it, it definitely looks different from other races. But that was the way I thought it should be, is that you should be able to choose from all of the existing races and looks and so on that exist but maybe like with glowing dragon eyes or something because like you look at all the dragons that that you see throughout the warcraft universe that are um in People. some non-dragon form like chromie right she you look at her she doesn't look like anything other than a uh i guess a high quality model of a gnome but just she's a gnome and like that's kind of what i would want for my drag theory like i want to be a panda dragon you know there's the uh where is it? Where is it? Veldraken. There's like the lady who does the keystones. It's clearly a bronze dragon, but she's a Pandaren. That kind of thing. That would be cool. But I guess I like the Drakthir model as well. Even if, yeah, I think I would still, I still think my idea is cooler. It probably was just like some logistical issue or I don't know. Maybe they want the Drakthir to have a specific iconic like humanoid model that stands out. But I think just being able to be everything that is a race in WoW would have worked for the visage form. Yeah, I guess that's true, right? They're an actual dragon, so maybe that's the in-lore justification for not getting to be a panda dragon. I'm changing a couple of talents. Yep. I'm going to switch back to the Conduit of the Celestials. I want to play around with that a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That is dialogue. So I guess they're going to have to... Uh, they're just going to have to retcon that, ultimately. You just, all right, never mind. You are just as powerful in visage form. Maybe they'll put in a new quest that says, yeah, we're, you're just as powerful in visage form now. Oh. I don't know. Hmm. Now I'm thinking... Like, are there other racial powers for Drakthir that I missed? Uh, no, I guess not. Two and a half percent mastery perception for all that gathering that you do. That was the other thing. And then, yeah, pretty much just all the other stuff. Knock back, knock up, uh, glide. It's a fair point. They, they aren't as uh, strong as the aspects. They're not aspects, yeah. they're just drag theory. They are getting rid of the... Why? Why? They're Why getting rid that? of the rep bonus for humans, which that's like... That's pretty overdue. Alright, we're gonna kill some more... Sheep, I guess. Oh, we're not killing them, we're just uh, beating them into submission. Yeah, and sometimes okay. they don't want to. All right. Hmm. Yeah, they haven't done any changes to tanks at all. I think the extent of the changes that they've done to tanks was they reduced the cost of Rend and Whirlwind for Prot Warrior, two skills that you do not keybind or ever use. So obviously that's not the extent of changes, but that is the extent of the like tank specific changes that they've made. So I, I would say they just haven't, it looks like they haven't even started when it comes to public facing stuff for class changes for tanks. I'm sure that they're working on it. They just haven't shown us anything yet other than hero talents, which for the most part look pretty good. I do think there are some hero talents for tanks that are a little underwhelming. I haven't played with the Colossus Warrior yet, but I was like not that fond of that when I looked at it. I, I liked a lot of the passive bonuses a lot, but I didn't like the idea of uh, you have this big like slow, basically Fist of Fury for Prot Warrior. That sounds bad. Sounds really bad. But I like the other stuff. That's true. It was so overdue. I mean, Diplomacy was legitimately overpowered since, like, Wrath of the Lich King. <laughs> and they've just been, like, fine with that. And, I don't know, there have been a lot of racial bonuses that should have been changed over the years way sooner. The beast slaying for trolls was kind of the 
er example for a long time and then they like put in significant progression bosses that were beasts and that was bad and then they finally changed that to just be basically nothing increased xp from killing beasts who cares but then like dwarf racial still exists that's kind of you know that's overpowered and then it only exists for the alliance dwarves because we've seen the earthen racials now and they kind of stink I, w I wish they were good. I like the quality of life that one of them makes it so that you're always well-fed and just like um, what Zandalari trolls, you can swap what the well-fed bonus is. Like, you can swap what your well-fed bonus is. That's cool, but, like, that's that's it. The other sort of the main skill they have is just, like, an empower, like, a Drakthir empower channel thing that does, like, some fire damage to everybody in front of you. Eh, and then I think they get a bit of extra armor from their gear, but I think it's like 1%. Not enough that you would be able to tell. And I feel like that's it. I think maybe I'm missing one other thing, but I can't remember. I think it's like a finesse or like a gathering bonus. So, yeah. Yeah, empower skills going to other classes would be cool. I would like that a lot. Going to tanks, though, empowered tank spells, I don't know. And that's, I am always thinking about stuff from tank perspective. So, like, I was so excited to have Horde Dwarves have, finally, as a Horde player, have bleed removal. Not have to play Alliance to get the Dwarf bonuses. And then, nope. No is the answer to that. Just no. Alright, those guys are dead. We're following this sheep around until he gives us a treasure. I've noticed this is a treasure type uh, unlock that they've been doing a lot recently where you have to click a guy and then follow after him for a minute and then click him and follow him after for a minute and repeat until you either have to kill him in battle or he just gives you a treasure chest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Colossus Power is just like I-Beam or Fists of Fury or... Bell devastation, like, eh, not my fave. Did you get anything out of chasing that guy all over the place? Um, I think he moved on already, so, like, we ha would have to find him again. It said he ran to safety, so I would assume there would oh. be, like, a treasure chest in here. Well, okay, so he was a lost sheep, and we were chasing him back to the pen, and now he's here. And that's it. All right, I guess they didn't, they didn't hook up the reward for doing that yet. Okay. Then. <laughs> All right. You want to go east and do a Titanic expedition? Wait, did you get to turn in the thing at the ram? Uh, what quest? The th Thunderhead butt. Yes, I don't have Thunderhead I butt. I did not get to turn it. <laughs> He's just. I have to do this now again because you're. You did it the first time. Yeah. Even though I got credit for it, I didn't get to turn anything in. Yeah, I would agree about dwarves. We do have three dwarf races, did we? Or two dwarf races, did we really need a third? I mean, I guess it makes thematic sense with the earth dwarf people, but, like, that's it for the new race, is we're going to get a horde dwarf race, and they can't remove bleeds and stuff. And that makes the least sense, because these guys are made out of stone. Like, if there's one thing they should be able to do, it's not bleed. Hmm. But then, yeah, it would be like getting another elf race, right? Both both factions now have access to Blood Elf and Night Elf models, whether it's Blood Elf, Void Elf, Night Elf, Nightborn. They have all the elf models. We don't need a fifth elf race. We don't really need a third dwarf race, although it would be cool to have that as Horde if they had the bleed removal, which they don't. Um... I don't know. Another Tauren race, maybe. Lerald, I think this is bugged. I'm yeah. not able... I'm getting credit for them being reunited, but I'm yeah. not... Nothing... I'm not allowed to turn it in, and there's no one here to be re reunited with, so... Hmm. Uh... I don't know if I turned it in here or if I turned it in down the hill. I really can't recall. I yeah, know. I agree I with that. I was it. literally just making that point earlier, actually. We need to get Void Elf and Nightborn Demon Hunters. It's time. I want to play a Nightborn. Do you remember where we picked that up? Uh, I think it was at... I think it was, like, right here. I think it was here-ish. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. 
Yeah. Okay. I could agree with that. I do think we probably will get some sort of high elf or some sort of elf something, a fifth elf race in the Midnight expansion. I think I, I buy that. What do you think? More elves? Always love more elves. I wouldn't mind more trolls. Trolls could make sense, too. More trolls would be good. Their whole lore with trolls and elves is that trolls are elves, or elves are trolls, or trolls and elves are both, you know, they're related somehow. Oh, now there's a friend here. Yeah, okay. All right, well, I guess report that quest, because I saw the big boy the whole time. Yeah, I have to go down here and turn yeah. it in, and then I'll report it. Got it. So it gave me completion credit in in a group, but I couldn't turn it in. You couldn't hand it in. Oh, good. Yeah. Man, the tooltip damage on this Celestial Conduit skill is that you radiate 1.2 million nature damage onto enemies. It does say split evenly among them, and it's over like three and a half seconds. But then you also have this capper here to press the button again to call all the Celestials, and they do like okay. double effectiveness, so they do like a bunch of damage and healing and stuff. So that's pretty coast. cool. Yeah, to the coast. A Titanic expedition. Oh, I collected a placeholder off the ground right there. Literally, it's called placeholder. Oh, great. I would like for Season of Discovery's edition of a bunch of different tank specs. I've really always wanted Shaman Tank to exist, like, for years and years and years. Oh, I see a rare over here. I am not near you. You're pretty close. I would like that. But I think that they don't want to add any more specs to the game really but certainly not any more tank specs i mean they should have with drag fear it made perfect sense to add an evoker tank spec wow that really shredded that guy huh cool no loot no loot what a letdown are we in are we in uh that bfa zone uh, which BFA zone? It kind of looks like some of the shores around Zuldazar, but That's not exactly. Mean. It's like a mix of Zuldazar and Twilight Highlands, which honestly, I can I can live with that. No, I kind of like parts of Zuldazar. No, it looks like the. What's the other zone over there? I forgot. Well, not Voldoon. I gotta, I gotta open a map. No. Are you talking that. about one of the Alliance zones? Yes. Are you talking about Stormsong Valley or Tiragard Sound? Because they're I'm talking about, basic. I think I'm talking about Storm Song. No, they're I'm basically the Storm. same like models, but with like different, basically a different Instagram filter over the zone. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. All okay. right, we have to kill guys and pick stuff off, uh, stuff up off yep. the ground. Oh yeah, that's excellent. I'm stuck. <laughs> Alrighty. Killing more guys, looting more stuff. I'm liking this teaching of the monastery thing with Windwalker. I'm liking how many extra blackout kick hits I'm getting, but it is legitimately hard to actually get Fist of Fury and Rising Sun Kick on cooldown at the same time to use Whirling Dragon Punch. Maybe I should spec out of this. Eh, maybe next time I'm playing Windwalker. Yeah, I would like some more su support specs too. I think that Agreed. would be more interesting. But they, everyone complains like, oh, they don't know how to balance the game or whatever. Yeah, like there, there is no making every single person happy. Sometimes you just have to either accept it or play a different game. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I think, I think I would like to see more tanks, more. I don't know if I feel like I care about more healers, but definitely more tanks. It would be nice to have more more classes that are able to do more things, like Shaman and Warlock, that kind of thing, from SOD. Seems like it's just, they seem like they're having a lot of fun, and I think, I look at that and I go, why not me? I want to have that fun too, but not actually play Vanilla WoW. I don't want to go back in that particular time machine. Uh, do you want to answer about the Warband? 
so far all that we've really seen of war vans is that they're basically just like a character screen that looks cool like it's like a little cinematic for the character screen i haven't really seen any sort of in-game functionality for them yet i know that they're saying that you'll be able to like it's sort of like a guild bank except it's a guild of of you where you're able to like share some stuff back and forth between them like you can get a piece of gear on one character and hand it over to your warband character or like it's an transfer account, account wide stash that's, that's a good way to think it about it yeah account wide bank for just you and a bit of account wide uh, gear sharing too potentially and like some currency sharing so that's that's cool i think it's a lot better than the versions of currency sharing that they've done in the past but it doesn't seem like they'll be doing anything at least initially other than just like, you know, yeah, basically being an account wide guild bank. He's dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm still in combat, though. There we go, finally. I would say that the alt quality of life stuff in this expansion so far seems like it's really good. Like, reputations are shared. Uh, achievement progress is shared when you finish like when you level one character you get increased xp on the rest of your characters up to like 25 percent extra it's five percent per character you level so like the late expansion xp bonuses are just put in right from the beginning i think that's pretty cool yeah no problem Br brettler we uh yeah. we like questions we're happy yep. to answer whatever we know yes <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm interacting with it. I'm not doing anything yet. Middle. You gotta press left. The button. Oh, okay. I did. I did enough to make it maybe come to life. Yep, it worked. All right. I pressed the buttons for a while. Yeah, that would be nice. I think the biggest criticism that people have of tanks, at least right now, is just simply that like. We basically haven't gotten any tank changes since a uh, 9.2 patch. And, you know, it was like four or five months ago, it feels like now. Maybe it wasn't that long ago, three months ago. Anyways, it's been a few months. We haven't really gotten any tank changes. Uh, I think we're done with this quest. Do you want to go south? Yeah, right. Um. just to answer what was said about tanks being balanced around each other, I, I wouldn't really say that they are <laughs> they're not balanced at all that's what i would say um i would say i'm gonna kill this rare yeah let's rare. i see three rares along the way so we can stop oh, and well, kill I, them got, all. I got this clicky clack guy real yeah. quick oh i'm getting beat up so are you yeah me too Ooh. ah uh -oh. Oh, this that's guy bad. is that's very bad i think they're all oh, levels really 80 elites he in this almost area. Died, though. Look at he all these the guys. They're level 80 us. elites. So this is a level 80 area that we're uh, playing around in, I guess. Yeah, but we almost killed him. I don't I don't care. I don't want to get killed by the guys all around the area. He's scaling down to our level, but the rest of the stuff is not. I'm guessing this is a high level world Yeah, so why don't we area. take him around a tree and kill him? <laughs> Just for fun. Oh. All right, let's do it. Just don't aggro anything else. No, oh, definitely not. Probably definitely not. not. Got him. Clapped. No reward. Just like I like. Ew. That's right. Oh, yeah. Brewmaster is still every bit as bloated as ever. It has tons of buttons. They removed the White Tiger statue, but then they've added in Clash. So it's still just as... Oh, oh, you know what? This, guy. this is also level 80. Oh. Well, all right. I'm going to figure out about that graveyard again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we should not be in this area is what we're learning. Uh, well, you know, it was, uh, it was fun to tempt fate, I guess. That's right. Well, you know, the default UI nameplates don't show the character level, don't show the NPC level. And so... we're waiting. Yeah. And we're waiting. <laughs> 
Yeah. And we're waiting. That's right. Uh, what level are you talking about healing in Mythic Plus? Like, what level key? I'm going to get out of this area. I'm trying to get out of here, but I've uh, tangled with a tree for some reason. Well, that's okay. I do feel like healing is probably the hardest role. Healing or tanking, they're definitely like a lot harder and more stressful than DPSing in Mythic Plus. And, you know, people don't love them. I know they're trying this dungeon difficulty rework in Season 4. We'll see how that comes along. I don't really think that's going to change anything for Mythic Plus ultimately. Like, people are want to do mythic plus are still going to be doing mythic plus and they're still going to basically be the same as they were before just the number on the keys will be different but it's infinite scaling content so people will eventually do it up to the point where you know it's bone crushingly difficult i wouldn't i guess i wouldn't say like up to like plus 23 plus 24 is really that hard but it can be significantly harder if you have a full group of people who are not used to that level content or are not good at using their interrupts, these, um, it can be just so much harder. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing with, with WoW, a multiplayer online game where everything is a cooperative, interdependent system of interactions between players. Like, the difficulty level between... You know, a full pug group that's not coordinated or organized and not using their interrupts doing a 22 and like a very coordinated organized group doing the same key, even with like significantly less gear can be far, 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 far easier. Yeah. Well, if you're mostly tanking, then yes, absolutely. Healing is going to feel like a bizarro world in Mythic yes. Plus because I have tanked and healed in Mythic Plus, and I'm usually a healer, but Lerald is almost is like almost always my tank. Like yeah. I would say, ninety five percent of my runs, Lerald is my tank. So yeah, uh, I'm a little spoiled in that regard. <laughs> She's my healer for probably ninety percent of my runs. Sometimes I'll do a couple extra characters or a couple extra runs for whatever reason when she's like not available. But usually we play together. Uh, I need one more horn. You need three more. Okay. Yeah. Blast. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that guy got absolutely demolished by. What guy? Conduit I didn't even of the Celestials. Vaporized. I didn't even That's see right. Him. That's right. <laughs> this is very funny. Everything just gets completely one shot, like just blasted off the face of the earth by all this Windwalker damage. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, this one is at least gonna make sense. Hit him with a Todd right off the bat. I'm stuck in the loot animation again. Let me know when you've got your four horns. Oh, I'm good. Uh, oh, no, uh, okay. I actually need one more, I guess. All right. I'm done. I'm done. All right, great. Let's go hand both of these in. Yeah, there is an achievement, and I can't remember what the reward for it is, but I think it's like a fancy-looking mount or a cool transmog. I can't remember what it was, but I saw it, and I was like, well, I need that, and the achievement is for successfully like timing a mythic plus in all three of the roles dps tank and heals and it's like oh man I'd, i've never healed a mythic plus i've healed but i haven't healed anything serious since cataclysm i don't i don't want to but i guess if i want that transmog i'll have to heal it too i mean your bear druid does so much healing that it is kind of like you're healing. that was my plan yeah was to heal as a Bear Druid, but I think you actually have to be in the healing role, yeah, like, you heal, have to be like the resto. Role, yeah. yeah. So, bah. do it as Miss Weaver, I guess. Do it once I'm like. What level putting... does it have to be? Just a mythic dungeon? I think it's just a mythic plus dungeon. I don't think they actually said any specific level. So, I think you can do it as. I think we might be done with all of the side quests in this zone. It doesn't seem right. Oh, I haven't been following this story, Lerald, but I really, um, I kind of felt like this guy was on the way out because now he's being put to sea. Oh. Literally. They just said farewell to him. And, uh. And he's just sort of frozen. Yes. Oh, no, he literally has frozen. He shut down because he's a robot. And so he's just yeah. locked in position here. So it's not well, a he bug. He had trouble remembering what he was doing and who yeah. I was. Yeah, it's so. not a bug. It's it's story. He's okay. A good yeah. All right. He's a well, robot. I think we're done here. I think we might I'd be. I'll wrap that up. Yeah, I see a continent to the southeast. 
but I don't think I can fly there. Nah. The Ringing Deeps. Yeah, we're not supposed to be testing this area yet. We can look at it. It looks... Uh... <laughs> uncomplete. Hallowfall. Narrow Bar. Yeah, those are the other zones, I guess, and we can't really do anything with them yet. There's a rare here, if you want to kill Sandris the Relic Bearer. He's made out of sand, that's his name is Sandris. Oh my goodness, that is some burst damage right there. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree with Jade Fire versus Feyline. I liked. Um, it does not. I don't think it does. It work with all flying mounts. I don't think so. Uh, you know, I they hmm. That's a good question. The dynamic flying. I feel like they said it's like four hundred something mounts. I don't know. I'm sure there are some that aren't. Okay. All right, we're doing that. I was seeing if it worked because it didn't work for a long time. Oh yeah. I'm trying to find mounts that are flying mounts that. No, 434, we've been told. Yeah, I'm just trying to find ones that are like... Are we killing this guy? Oh, okay, here we go. There's actually a filter for flying mounts that are not dynamic flying mounts. I'm looking. Yeah. Uh, It's a long list of dynamic flying mounts. Okay. Red Flying Cloud. It's a dynamic oh, okay. flying mount, even though it says it's not. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you see that? Yes. Amalgam of Rage. It's just a ground oh, mount, so that's This that is my favorite count. flying mount now. Just yeah, I like it a lot. Just from House yeah. of Ash. That, Panda yeah, area as well, yeah. This is okay, amazing. how about this one? This is... I can't remember what this is. Is this a... I can't remember if this is from Gathering Enough Mounts or if this is like a collector's edition from dragonflight but either way this is just a ground mount so i i don't actually that see is any gathering enough mounts okay yeah uh i don't actually see any mounts that are dynamic flying or dynamic flying off regular flying on i don't see any maybe there are some that have slipped through but it seems like all of the flying mounts are also dynamic flyers now some of them look pretty good. I think the hippogriffs, basically anything that has wings, I think when looks you take totally off naturalistic. On the disc, you spin yeah. in a circle. Uh, it's really awesome. cool if you're dual wielding. You do some like some karate Fancy stuff. Fancy glow stick stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's right. What's it called? Disc? Yeah. Red flying cloud. Cloud. I'm There's using a lot the of cloud cartel stuff. master's gear glider. Well, goody, goody for you. I don't have that. Yeah, you do like a fancy spin well, and pull your weapons out. It. Oh, I wonder if the book. I don't know if. Uh, oh, no. To what is it? Tome? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I unlocked the Soaring Spell Tome on live, the book, from doing all the Mage Towers. But no, uh, no. I haven't I haven't transferred any. You can't character copy yet. So I don't have that data on the beta servers yet. All right. We killed that guy. He dropped some identical item level stuff to what we already had. Yeah, but it's yeah. blue. But oh, it's blue. Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of the old school, like, proto tricks, they just look fantastic. They look better than ever doing this dynamic flying. Like, it worked perfectly for them. But then some of the mounts, uh, some of the mounts, they look ridiculous Bad. mainly it's the horses it's the horses that look really odd some of the robot stuff looks it could look better as well i'm gonna hop in my fat boy mount yeah your g mod no the uh depleted caparium rocket oh the oh, fat well, man mount. yeah <laughs> what about the uh, sky golem Sky Golem looks pretty good. It's the same model as G uh, Mod. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at Invincible flying around. Let's get disappointed. Oh, no, see, Invincible has wings, so it doesn't look that bad. It's the horses that don't have wings that look really, really weird. It has a completely different animation from the non winged horses. 
Yeah, see, that looks great, actually. That looks totally fine. Oh, my... You know the cradle from Arden Wheel? It has yeah. dynamic flying. Oh, my God. All right, this is what I'm talking about. This right here, the uh, Lucid Nightmare. Great-looking mount. Great model. Strange. Ridiculous. Strange animations. Very odd. Maybe some people will like it. It's looking a little bit like... um. Like, it's trying to throw me off. <laughs> you know, what I haven't looked at is the Mecha Mogul. I haven't looked at that at all. I haven't looked at some of the, like, um... What do you mean by the beta is just for promotion? I actually kind of buy that. I think I get what they're saying, and yeah, I think I kind of buy that. Um, Alpha is for as... testing, and beta is for hype building. I think that's somewhat true. I think they'll still be fine-tuning stuff during the beta. As far as sitting in the air, no, you would have to switch to the classic style flying. Which you, which you can do. Still. You can do that anywhere. Yeah. You don't have to go talk to an yeah. NPC or go to Orgrimmar or anything. You just do a five-second cast. Oh, okay, that's that's the purpose of Pathfinder. We finally figured it out. So you have to get Pathfinder unlocked in the War Within. I don't know what it takes to get Pathfinder right now, but you have to do whatever it takes to get Pathfinder. Probably, like, explore all the zones or something. And then you're able to switch to regular flying in the War Within. But in Orgrimmar or wherever, it's just a five-second cast. You just land, five-second cast, and then you can just regular, boring, slow, old fly. Which is good if you want to, like, AFK in the air or something. Not a problem. All right, I'm just going to keep looking at more weird mounts. Riddler's Mind Worm. How's that look? Weird. Oh, God. Very strange. First of all, I'm not a big fan of that mount, but... <laughs> Never really liked it, but it looks real strange this way. Yeah. Ugh. I will say going this fast, using the little glider is actually like so much more comfortable. Kind of like using this yeah. Wither Drake. Like there's, you can get through things, around things, through trees, like so much easier. I'm going to try Aerial Unit R21X, the King Mechagon mount. You know what? Uh -huh. Looks pretty good. I'm imagining that Zen Flight probably won't. I'll I'll, ch I'll check that in a second, but I would imagine that it probably won't work until you've gotten Pathfinder as well. Like if you can't dynamic or uh, static fly, you probably can't Zen Flight either. But let's check. Nope, it works. Oh my god, it works. Excellent. That's hilarious. So yeah, I guess you're just locked out of like traditional flying in the in the zones until you finish pathfinder i did see a druid doing regular flying around in flight form and you can do dynamic flying in flight form as well so i don't know if that's bugged or intended that you can just regular fly from from moment one on a druid in flight form but you know hey whatever oh all right oh okay interesting so i used <laughs> that is a fun bug I used in flight to be in regular flying, and then now I'm in regular flying mode on a mount because I mounted while I was in Zen flight. I wonder if this is going to make my other mounts bug out. Nope. They're back to uh, regular dynamic flying. Cool. Yeah, the cloud is really... Let's let's try that again. Let's try that Yuli, daughter of Jade again. I think that this looks okay. Okay, you know what? I haven't played around with, and I need to is some whirling surge on some of these mounts. All right, it's a bit. I mean, I guess it's gonna be the same animation on everything. You surge forward and do a three sixty or do a barrel roll. Yep. All right. It's not bad. Okay, Antorin Gloomhound. Do you have Antorin Gloomhound unlocked? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. All right, it's time to do a barrel roll on a Gloomhound. That actually looked a lot better than I thought it would. 
that actually looked pretty cool. I thought it was going to look ridiculous. I thought it was just going to do a big, gigantic spin, but it pulled in real tight and did its spin. Looked totally normal. This looks awesome. I actually like this a lot. That was much better than anticipated. Hmm. Let's see if I can find any more ridiculous looking mounts that'll look uh, stupid. Most of these look like they're going to be pretty decent looking so far. There's got to be something in here that's ridiculous. All right. How about the Bloodthirsty Dreadwing? The big wingling bat. Very wide. I bet that'll look ridiculous doing a barrel roll. Let's see how, how tight it pulls in. You know what? That looked pretty dumb. And my character didn't spin with the bat. It didn't stay in the, the mount harness. It just stayed upright and the bat spun underneath me. That looked pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah, which Bastion mount? Because I know I just scrolled by one. There are a lot of Bastion mounts. There's this one. That one looks pretty interesting. I don't like that one as much. And then these like ones aren't going to be able to fly. All right, let's try the Ascendance Aqualon from Adjutant Gallos. I think this is going to look good. Most of the cats with wings have looked pretty good. I mean, the model is, you know, your opinion may vary on whether you think the model looks good, but the animations of the rig have been pretty good so far. All right, let's do it. You know what? Look pretty good. Yeah. I don't think I've ever used these Aqualon mounts, but you know what? They look pretty decent. Okay, the Carsonized Zareth Steed, the big, like, robot crab mount, the one that looks like Halandris, that one is going to look really stupid. I guarantee it. Oh, maybe not. It's... it's pointing its ass at the camera, so maybe it's going to look fine. Hmm. <laughs> that wasn't great. I'm going to have to check that out from some other angles, but that looked pretty goofy. It just sort of rotated. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what? This is f I could I could do this all day. Just spinning in circles on different mounts and seeing which ones look stupid and which ones look really good. I've been pleasantly surprised by all the cat mounts. I've been uh, pleasantly disappointed by all the horse mounts. Okay, it doesn't look great. The robot crab doing the the whirlwind. It's it's not better. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at Banlu. I think cat mounts have looked pretty good. Oh, we're definitely going to have to play around with the uh, the Deathwing mount here at some point as well. All right, doing a barrel roll. It's time to go. I think I found my favorite barrel roll so far. Honestly, not bad. I think the cat mounts look pretty good. Do you have a cryptic Orlin? That's a good question. Yes. This. The, oh, the jellyfish. Oh, yeah. The one yeah, that. Yeah, do it. You have to what? You have to fish that up in. You won't be disappointed. All right. All right. Well, you haven't oversold it. Excellent. I'm excited. All right. This is looking pretty goofy thus far, anyway, with the sort of robot tentacles that it has going on. Okay, we're going to get a little speed going, and then we're going to get in there and see how this looks. Okay. All right. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's very ridiculous. Like I said, you wouldn't be disappointed. You're, you got to look wrong. at it from the back. Yeah, I looked at it from the, the side back. angle, so we'll do we'll do a, just a straight shot from the back next. I'm sort of following <laughs> yeah, you around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Thankfully, I don't get motion sickness, so I'm not feeling like nauseous, but I definitely felt unsettled by it. Okay, three, two, one. 
Ugh, God. Ugh, it's that's like, awful. It's the way they swim. It it's is the way they the swim. Way they swim. Up speed. Yeah. And it's, that's rough. That's a tough one. That might be the worst one. I don't know. Well, how dare you? That one is great. <laughs> oh, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, I, I figured. All right, let's try the Fellfire Hawk. I like this, this model. The, uh, the green ashes of Alar. I gotta okay, regen coming, some vigor here. Coming to look. Coming. All right, go ahead. All right, let's get a little, a little bit more vigor. Okay, uh, that uh, could look worse. It's not too bad. You ever feel like you're being followed? Yes. Let's see what else. Okay, yeah, I know what's next. I know exactly what's next. All of the Shadowlands Elemental Keystone Master mounts, the Sin Touched oh Death Walker, all of those things. Oh, what about that Blizzard mount? The like snow guy that like has the cool. I don't know special. if I have that mount because oh, my battle net data on this. I can't do flying carpet because I'm not a tailor. Oh, oh I can. Well, la di da. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can actually. Oh my god. All right, I can do flying carpet. Yes. Uh, okay. A let's whole do new this. world. Okay. <laughs> That's right. That's that is that is exactly what it is. All right, let's get up the speed, and now we're gonna do a barrel roll on a carpet and somehow not fall off. Don't you dare close your eyes. Okay, that was bad. That was the worst one. That, that was easily the worst, the one. worst one. The worst one so far. <laughs> it didn't even do easily. a full barrel roll. It did half of one no. and then just teleported back to being in position from before. Not only that, you know how the carpets undulate? Yeah. It's, it's making that so unsettling. Yes, it like <laughs> broke into the middle of that. It's like two broken animations not merged together at oh, all. <laughs> this is great. Okay, let's try another one straight from the back. Uh, okay, yep, nope, it's still as broken as it was before. Terrible. <laughs> Excellent. All right, that was exactly as bad horrible. as I hoped it would be. This is horrible. Okay, I'm yep. on something else. <laughs> okay, the Sin I Touch Death. I want to check out that Sin Touch Death Walker. I really do need to see that. I can't remember what the blizzard mount is called. The one that, like, drops snow on the ground and I know stuff. what you're saying. Something about snowstorm or something. Yeah. Uh, what I... about the unshackled wave ray? That's got to be ridiculous looking. Does that fly? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, going to be terrible it, it looking. Spins. It spins. It's, as, it's okay. as you would expect. All right. I'm doing a Sin Touch Death Walker barrel roll. We're going for it in three, two, one. Oh. Huh. Okay, that actually was pretty good. That makes sense. So the that harness, does make sense. the yeah. harness that you're on, just stays still, and the elemental spins underneath you. I think that's pretty good. I'm I'm pleasantly impressed by that one. I think that might be legitimately the best one because very it defied my expectations. It does actually look pretty decent and pretty clever. All right, let's see if we can get one. Nice zoomed in one. Should I do it from the back? Let's do it straight from the back. Oh yeah, that's really good. They did a really good job with that one. Gotta give it up. Okay. All right, a new contender for worst one is coming up here. Spirit of Ekero, the flying ghost moose. This has some of the most insane, like fly galloping as you can see there's like a real seam there too like i'm gonna take off again let's do a skyward ascent you'll see it transition between the taking off animation very like not smooth yeah between that and the regular flying animation i got a, I got a feeling that the whirling surge on this is going to be just awful uh, turn the ui off here i found one that's worse than the not carpet. as bad as i thought <laughs> Not as bad as I thought. Carpet. Yeah. Honestly, uh, I think that the whirling surge on the moose is like the best animation it has. I think the liftoff and the, the flying at speed are really weird looking. But I think the whirling surge is okay. Please take a moment to look how this rides. What are you on? 
Swift win- win Steve. Oh, that was literally next for me. Excellent. Let's take a look. I see you galloping. Yeah, same animations as this, but like no, it's a it, worse it, like, model. I think it double it doubles up on it. It goes. It's like ding ding, and then it's like ding ding ding. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's oh, I hate it. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's enough of that for me. <laughs> All right. Oh, I do have a Tazavesh gear glider, huh? Well, that's going to be the same uh, same animation as the disc, I suppose. All right, let's take a look at that wind steed. Yeah, pretty much the same animation as the ghost moose. Oh, but not as many spins. That somehow going from instead of a, like a f double barrel roll to just a single one made it look truly awful. Like night and day, just how bad that, that was compared to the other one, just by doing only one spin instead of two. Ugh. Okay, something I hadn't tested yet was the, um, what are they called? Dragonhawks? That, like, Blood Elf mount thing? The yeah. Sylvanas mount? Vengeance? I hadn't tested those out, hadn't looked at those yet, and so I'm gonna hop on that and see how good or bad that looks. I don't really like the model on this at all, so that's already kind of a strike against it. I never liked the animation on these guys either, the Dragonhawks. I wanted to. I think they look cool from afar, but then when you start flying on them, I think they look pretty bad. So, Agreed. let's see. Looks pretty good. Pretty good whirling surge, I've got to say. And I think the static flying animation's actually pretty good, but the Skyward Ascent is bad. But the surge forward and the standard animation is good. There's a weird... There's a weird... Uh, blue line that's appearing in my screen like an exterior part of a model or something on this mount specifically very strange like a weird artifact like a contrail but only appearing at one point above me <laughs> it's really really weird looking yeah oh, all right no. that's enough of that mount yeah that's enough of that mount i'm on the chittering animite Okay, that seems like a... It's actually not bad at all. Way better than its normal flying. Oh yeah, that does look good. This is like one of those mounts that needed that needed this. It needed dragon work. riding, yeah. Yeah. Zoom. Yeah, that looked pretty good. Looks totally normal. I do not like how this thing moves as a ground mount at all. Agreed. It's terrible. I don't like it as a regular flying mount, and I do not like the walking animation. That's deeply unsettling. We're turning that off. What else have we got in here that's good? Got to be some good stuff in here. The moths, I feel like we've already seen that same basic animation with the bats, but I'll check out an Amber Arden moth just to see. Yep, that's all looking pretty familiar. That's pretty good. It looks okay. It's a little slow. I've noticed that some of the barrel rolls that these things have done have been like really slow and wonky looking, and that one was definitely in the slow and wonky looking camp. Yeah. Okay, I know one. The Armored Sky Screamer. Or really any of the Terrodax mounts from BFA? Honestly, I was impressed by the Pandaren kite uh, mount. I actually thought the barrel roll was pretty good. Excellent. All right, I'll look at a, I'll look at some cloud serpents in a second here. I'm gonna look at the whirling animation from this pterodactyl. I think it's the same rig as the bats and the moth that I just did, just with a much wider wingspan. So let's see. That looked great. It spun it like it pulled in tight it did a real fast barrel roll that was pretty good looking yeah let's see um cloud serpent all right let's hop on that thundering august cloud serpent i think they look pretty good i actually think that this animation for them the like dragon riding just like that ugly monster thing from Meldraxxus a minute ago. I think it looks better than it did as like regular flying. All right. The whirling surge on the other hand, little slow, little bit slow. I think it looks okay. 
not as great as the like regular flying animations though like i think the skyward ascent's really good looking the surge forward's a little little jerky all right eight seconds left on the whirling surge cooldown come on give me cooldown reduction on that uh, you know what? I actually have the same model as the DH class mount from one of the Antorus mounts, so I can pull that up again. The Antoran Gloomhound. This is the same model as the DH mount. And I thought it looked amazing. I do have to build up some vigor, though. All right, here it goes. Yeah, it pulls in tight, spins fast. That's what you're looking for on all of the Whirling Surges. It needs to be fast, and it needs to be, like, a small model. Even if it's, like, unnaturally small, like, it, they collapse the model into itself and clip and stuff, that's okay. I, I can allow that. Like, my mind looks past that fine. As long as it's spinning fast when it's doing the barrel roll, not, like, doing half of a spin and then quitting or, like, taking a full two seconds to do a spin or something. Okay, the nether rays were something I was curious about. Yeah, all the, like, manta rays, nether rays. They were, f they looked fine. Yeah. I did a couple of them. They looked normal, really. Some of the ones that have wings that are for more recent expansions than the Burning Crusade ones, I think they look like yeah. they could look good, but I specifically wanted to see the ones from, yeah, like, Burning Crusade or this Unshackled Wave Ray. Yeah, let's see how that looks. <laughs> yes i do that's the one i was right yes yeah this one looks like it's a it's a pretty good looking model actually and it has slightly yeah. has some wings whereas the nether rays oh god it's doing that weird contrail thing again above me that's not good a little bit slow on the on the whirling surge not the worst by any stretch though yeah not too bad not too terrible what is the worst one we've seen? I still think the Sin Touch Death Walker, the Elemental, is the best one. What was the worst one? I guess it was the carpet. I feel like the carpet's the worst. You know, I haven't actually looked at the Tazavesh Gear Glider specifically. Let's see how ridiculous that is. Okay, the takeoff animation is awesome, especially if you're dual wielding. Doing a little spin thing. That's cool. Have you ever used Opie? Uh, no, I'm not familiar with it. Let's see. All right, let's check out this Whirling Surge. Uh, that's pretty good. That's a, That one stands out, in fact, from all the rest. I do think this one's, like, probably... This one's on the short list of best ones for me. I probably will be riding around on a glider on a lot of characters for a while. Just looking for more mounts to play with. Okay, I found a good one. Dark Moon. Just look, just type Dark Moon into your mount list. That's really all you need. <laughs> uh, in regards to that add-on for having, it's the one that does the radial buttons. Oh, I have seen people use it. Yeah. Yeah, it's so. Lerald and I kind of made a a commitment to stop using like tons of UI modifying add-ons. Like, we kind of, like, broke it down to bare bones simply because yeah. in the first couple of weeks of a raid releasing, there are so many bugs with add-ons and interactions with raids and dungeons. And it's just, it's too much to be spending all that time troubleshooting, especially when, um, especially when you're, like, trying to do six characters as quickly as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it seems like it's probably pretty useful for a lot of people. For me, I just, like, I hate being dependent on an add-on. And, I mean, that's why I have all of these action bars down here at the bottom of the screen, and I know they're not pretty. I used to use a couple of different add-ons to give that same functionality. 
of throwing like hundreds of of like garbage keybinds, stuff like flasks and food and that kind of thing into like smaller areas. And then those add, you know, one add on would like be out of date for a while or whatever. And I ultimately just said, like, I think I'm going to give up on depending on add on developers to make that stuff. And I guess the smarter decision would have been to learn how to do it myself, but I never did. So I just ultimately went with like just then putting it on regular keybinds. That's true. I wouldn't have time to do the other stuff that I do. I would be spending it working on add-ons. All right, let's see how this uh, let's see how this Dark Moon blimp looks. It looks ridiculous. Actually, I kind of like it, even though it is definitely ridiculous looking. I never liked the regular flying version of the blimp. All right, let's see it do a barrel roll though. Better than expected. That's for sure. I thought that was going to be bad, but honestly, I thought that was okay. I don't know why it spinned so much, though. It definitely had a sort of like a momentum, like it's it sort of wound up into the barrel roll, and then it kind of carried over a little too long afterward. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the goblin thing in a second here. I want to do one more barrel roll on this. I want to see how much momentum it has going. It really like that was the thing I always liked about this mount aesthetically is like it's a big fat blimp, and then it never really carried through with the uh, like no momentum regular flying. All right, let's see it again. Yeah, a lot of like extra weight on the on the follow through. <laughs> yes, goblin. Not Godlin. Although I can't believe they've never put an NPC in the name in the game named Godlin. Feels like a missed opportunity. Okay, I'm looking at something else that definitely needs to be tried. The Zillywag ATV. That that could get ridiculous. Honestly, again, similar feelings to the to the Zeppelin. It's looking pretty decent, although I'm noticing that the propellers are rotating at a frame rate that doesn't like it's not in sync with the rest of the game bit weird looking all right let's do it yep same exact animation okay looks all right not as good as the blimp i think what is that thing called the goblin mind thing i think i have it it's not the gmod It's not Gallywix. Uh, Mecha Mogul. The brain or the head. And then you sit in the brain part. Oh, you got me. Ha ha ha. That was actually pretty decent. The Lerald, what about the pirate Mecha ship from Mogul. BFA? I completely forgot about the pirate ship. Oh, that's gonna look either really good or ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna do this Mecha Mogul one again. Mecha Mogul Mark II, the spin animation, the propeller like goes in the back. I think it looks pretty legit. What is that mount called? Mecha Mogul Mark II. No, no, the ship. Yeah, that looks great. Uh, that's a good question. Corsair. Nope. Uh, ship. Nope. Hmm. I just realized I don't think we have it because I think it's an account bound thing. Yeah. And we don't have account bound transmogs and or uh. Yeah, I think it might be like a shop ship. and bonus sh mount. Yep, exactly. I think it's like a shop item. I'm trying to say the word Dreadwake, shop. Dreadwake, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we don't, don't have, have those. It. All right. Well, then. Oh, well. That's a bummer. Yeah. I'll have to test it on live. That's right. Okay, let's check out this wasp. Oh, God. Okay, I don't have high hopes for the bee mount. Yeah, I don't either. Nope, looks terrible. Very slow. Very weird. They need to speed that animation up by like a good 30%. It needs to be fast. 50% maybe. That was very slow and strange. Hmm. 
I feel like I've gone through most of the models by now. Most of them. Okay, pirate, uh, parrots. Yeah. Various parrots. Gotta check those out. Robot parrot. We'll start with that. Yeah, the Aqualons look really good. I was very impressed. They look a lot better than I thought they did, just like as static flying mounts. I never really liked the way that cats just sort of ran through the air, like passively, but I think they look really good with the dynamic flying. I think it actually works really well. All right, parrot, barrel roll, go. Slow, terrible, not a, not a fan, way too slow. Very janky. Not the worst, though. Let's see. There's got to be something in here that's good. I saw something else that I wanted to look at that was right in this area. Man, some of these mounts yeah, I think that I a, never ride anymore point. are very pretty. I think that's a fair point about the barrel roll versus the other roll style. Um, that's true. That's a good point. The the, the cartel uh, glider does it. It does the uh, the nice barrel roll, and I and it's actually like really pleasant to fly on something so small, especially when you're flying through like, you know, the area of, an area of trees, mm -hmm. just trees. <laughs> yeah. Or when you're trying to go into doorways quickly without dismounting. Under city plague bat. This thing is enormous. I bet it's going to look really good. I bet it's going to be a real nice, like, nice, tight, fast spin, I hope. Probably. Yup, looks great. They have nailed that model completely. Uh, this is a model I never liked as a regular flyer at all, these big wingling dudes. But I think they look really good as dynamic mounts. It's interesting. It's kind of opened up a lot of mount options for me that I never really considered in the past. Yes, I would agree. I did the forged spite flyer and I hate it. All right, well, time to look. Spite. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I don't have that unlocked. But I did have uh, another model with the same animation. The wasp, robot mm -hmm. wasp, looked terrible. I did not like it. No. All right, jeweled onyx panther. I used this exclusively as my mount for a long time during like Pandaria. Super expensive. Blah blah blah. Let's check this out. You know what? Not as good as I hoped. A little slow. Maybe I just sit. You kind of sit up very weird as you're doing the the roll. It like you sit up very straight, like you got a broomstick in place of your spine, and that really makes it look slower and weirder. Do you have the Ironbound Wraith Charger? That's a good question. I do. All right, let's take a look at this. I don't like this it. is like a like a new model Invincible, but Invincible looks good because it has wings and then it pulls them in and they look pretty good. This is just like horse animation, which is the horse animation's been real strange. Oh god, no. That's awful. I don't like it. <laughs> and I know it's like a psychosomatic thing or whatever, but when the animation is shorter like that, it uh it's sort of Excuse me. It feels like it uh, isn't lasting as long. What about the Raptora Swooper? Let's see. I don't think I have Eves. I don't see it. Ghastly... No, I guess I don't have that. Interesting. I thought I did. You know, it's probably one of those things where I don't have it on the uh, beta account data. Alpha account, whatever. But right. So like some of the ones that are shorter, like it feels like you don't get as much speed from them because they don't la you know, they last half as long. I feel like I'm not getting as much speed. I'm sorry. What was the name that you said you're wearing? That's pretty cool looking or riding. That's a pretty cool looking amount. Super. Raptora. Yeah. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. It is the broom 
Yeah, so I wouldn't have that on the beta, unfortunately. Oh, I really would like to see how a broom handles. I bet brooms are absolutely preposterous. <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. That's exactly yeah, as like fast it. as it should spin. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And the tail makes it look really cool. Yes. Yeah, this is really stands out too. The the color palette is like really mm -hmm. that because it's a protoform synthesis mount, so it's like made by robots. So it has that like flat primer white color that really stands out with the uh, metal, silver, or whatever aluminum, and then like the red feathers. Looks good. The artist did a really good job on that one. Yeah, good job, artist. Yeah. Let's see. There's got to be some more fun ones in here. There are so many mouths in this game. What about the albatross? Okay, yeah. That horrible, that mm -hmm. evil, evil bird from Eye of Ashara. Yeah. Yeah, none of the trade post stuff is available. Um, none of the expansion mounts are available. Only the things that were, like, earned by achievement in-game. That could look better. It's a little slow, the Albatross. It wasn't horrible, but it's a little slow looking. Little, like a fat roll, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I would like that. More more of an impact on the speed that you're traveling at. You know, I'm flying around here, and I know I'm in the new zone, Kazalgar, but it really, really looks like Azuna from Legion. Mm -hmm. These trees are, and the grass, and the road, the, like, stone they're using on it, are so inspired by Azuna. But then there's dwarf architecture on, like, the bridges and the, like, little lanterns by the road. It's all, like, dwarf architecture from, like, uh, I guess Twilight Highlands, wetlands even. Yeah, I think that's right. I know they have, they clearly have a couple of spins that are, like, bespoke or whatever you know they're like nice looking custom fitted to like some of the mounts like the discs with their actual barrel roll instead of their aileron spin but yeah some of them it works really well some of the bigger models ironically work really well because they seem like they spin faster the smaller ones seem like though the ones that look worse because they're spinning a lot slower It's one of those things where they need to go back through and kind of change the timing on some of the spins and some of the slower, like smaller models. But usually when this stuff is already in the public view and it's it's something like this where it's not a brand new feature, it's like retooling an older feature. I feel like this might be it for <laughs> for what we see of changes to this. Maybe not. You know, it depends on the level of feedback that they get, but. I wouldn't be surprised if this doesn't change. Oh, Chimera. I haven't really played around with a Chimera yet. Let's take a look at this bad boy. I always hated the way these models flew. I liked the look of them. Hated their model, like the animation, the rigging for regular flying. And I kind of still feel the same way about dynamic flight. Not a huge fan. Better, but not great. All right, let's check out that Whirling Surge. Pretty good. Exactly as it should be. Nice wide wingspan. It pulls in real tight and spins pretty quick. Gotta say, it looks okay. Not, not too bad. Wow, at night, we know mounts. Oh, yeah. I mean, I do like dragon riding. Like, I like, wow, I like, you know, all the competitive aspects of the game, too. But I can just fly around. I can just fly around for a long time and be happy doing that also. You know, it's, it's like I said, it's something I'd been asking for for, like, years before they finally did it. Just, like, let us fly all the time, build the game around us being able to fly, and thankfully they did. Yeah, he did try Bianlu already. Um, we can try it again, though. Oh, yeah. I'll pull it back up. Yeah, it's really good looking. Uh... Really good looking mount. I think all of the cats, I think the cat, I've never really liked flying cats, like just the regular flying cat animation, but I think with, with the dynamic flight, I think it looks really nice. 
they've done a really good job of translating it and making them look like very lively without looking silly like the moose and the horses look really really goofy i think this looks pretty good actually and now let's do that barrel roll it looks okay. I think it looks all right. Maybe it could be a little bit faster or maybe the character could like hunch down a little bit more when they're doing the roll instead of kind of sitting straight up. But I don't, I don't think it looks bad. I think all the rest it of the animations look good. It does look like he's trying good. to throw you off. It does look like he's trying to throw me off. I'll give you that. Yeah. yeah. But the rest of the animations are really good looking. Like I haven't used Van Lu in a long time because... I don't love the static flying cat mount animations. And also, nobody uses any regular mounts anymore because of dragon riding. But I probably will add them back into the rotation. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think that could be like a touch faster. But the rest of the animations are really good. That one in particular, the surge forward for cat mounts, I think is great. Yeah, hoverboard, I think, is the winner. It's my number one. Yeah. Definitely my number one. You know, something I haven't really been looking at on all of these is how they do the uh, the aerial halt animation. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's not terrible. Not Have the worst. Have a good night, and thanks for tuning yep. in. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at the, uh, the disc. Tazavesh, Tazavesh Gear Glider. I think that's a nicer looking model for sure. Same animations. The custom lift off animation on this is really, really good, especially if you're like dual wielding some like cool swords or whatever. Like for the other, I don't know if it'll do it for this one, but for the other disc, it whipped them out. That was pretty cool. No, it didn't. It didn't. Oh, okay. All right, let's try that again. What is it? Red Cloud. Cloud. Red flying cloud. Here we go. Absolutely. Yes, same, same. Big same. I love the glider mounts. They're like always been one. Of, they've always been one of my favorites. But oh yeah, that looks awesome. I, I just have felt very double uh, jump and whipping out the swords. Yeah, I I pretty much like suggested this from the get go when they introduced dragon yeah. riding. I was like, so wait, we're never gonna see our other mounts. Yeah, so, that like, was a criticism expansion. I gave during the during the dragon fight beta as well it's like yep. i like this concept i think it's really really cool and fun i really really enjoy the races a lot but i know people are going to be upset they have hundreds if not thousands of mounts there's something they're really going to be upset about not riding them all right check about out this. giving feedback oh yeah and, that's so good and having that's them the implement one. it exactly as you described it and like you hope that <laughs> You oh, hope yeah. that it's because, like, a lot of people wanted it that way. But, I mean, pretty much exactly what I posted in the forum for feedback is exactly what they did. And I was like, okay, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've wanted dragon riding for years and years. Something like this, at least flying all the time, but really, like, faster and cooler flying. So, like, this has all felt... I'm not stupid. I know they didn't do this because of me. But uh, yeah, it has yeah. felt like a coup. It has felt like a great triumph. All right, let's see how the stop animation works on the disc. I imagine this it's just is... going to stop. This world yep. is too big to not have faster <laughs> Yes, <mode>. it did. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. Don't you agree? It's just too big to not have oh, faster yeah. mounts than what we had. Yeah, exactly. And the, even though the flight points were a bit faster, they still weren't fast enough. Like, that's right. They could have been They could have been this speed the whole time. They should have been at least this yeah, speed. Yeah, they should the have been time. this speed. They should be now. They should change them to that speed now. I mean... Oh no, you're getting around the zone faster? Oh god, we can't have that. Yeah, I'm playing around with the uh with the flying, like the stopping animation, the aerial halt animation on a lot of these. And the robots, they just stop moving. It's it's not yeah. good. Like I like them. I like the animation on the the disc, but I have to say the stop on the disc is that it just doesn't move anymore. It's like, alright, well, that's not so great. Interesting, the pure heart courser does one spin. Not amazing. Let's take a look at the stop. Okay. It eh, could be better. It's not as bad as I feared. It's definitely better than some of the robots. Alright, I'm going to look at that robot crab again. That Halandris, the Carthenized Zareth Steed. 
crab rave. That's right. Okay, I've come around on the on the whirling surge for the crab robot. I kind of like it. The stop animation. Eh, either way, it could be better. Let's take a look at like the cloud serpent. See how that compares. I gotta build up some more vigor too. I can tell I'm I feel like low. the cloud serpent's just gonna like stop, like it's you know. Yeah, that's my thinking. Stroking out or whatever. I think, I think most of the ground anim ground mount animations for stop have just been the S key, like just walk backwards animation, but in yeah. the air. But it's the walk backwards animation, which is like odd, bit odd. Uh, okay, let's try a little whirling surge action on an astral. Cloud Serpent, that looks pretty good. Pretty decent anyway, and we're stopping. Yep, it just it just sort of stopped. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I think this stuff with wings, they've animated the wings to like flat backwards when you hit the aerial halt, and I think those look pretty good. Yeah. But most of the stuff that doesn't have wings looks kinda not so great. You know, let's compare like some stuff with wings now. Yeah, Fellfire Hawk looking great with the Whirling Surge. Really pulls in those big wide wings real tight. And then the, the stop. Yep. Looks better. It stops and flaps its, uh, flaps its wings, just like you would want. I think Invincible is the one horse. I think it's the only horse that looks legitimately good. All the cats look pretty good. All the horses and moose look terrible except for Invincible, but the, the wings, the flapping wings is really the thing that sets Invincible apart. Makes it look not terrible. <laughs> not bad. Yeah, exactly. I can't even see it. That's right. All right, let's see. Yep. Looks fine. Looks totally normal and fine. Yeah, it's definitely the best horse mount. You know, I probably will use Invincible again because of this. That's cool. Spent a lot of time in ICC farming this thing, and then I never really cared for the animations all that much. I use it for a while, but, you know. Yeah, it'll be nice to go back in the in the rotation. You know, that's something I didn't look at was the elementals, the Sin Touch Deathwalker with that great whirling surge. But how does it how does it stop? I like the gold one better. Yeah, that looks, one that looks good. Uh of the elementals? I don't know if I have that account yeah. data on the PTR realm. I don't know. What is it called? Oh, let me look. Yeah. Okay, it just sort of S keyed. Eh, it could be better. Oh, yeah, they. Important. I mean, they have to make Invincible and Ashes of Alar look good. They have to. People would be mad. There would just be too much negative feedback. They would have to spend the time making them not look terrible. Yeah. I've always loved the Rusted Proto Drake. That's always been a personal favorite. The Glory of the Old War Raider. Like, I think this is 10-man reward. 10-man meta achievement. Let's try it out. Looks great. As good as ever. Better than ever, really. Whirling Surge is good. Let's see about that stop animation. Don't see why it wouldn't be, but let's check it out. Yep, exactly like every other dragon riding mount. Just looks like a normal dragon riding dragon, as it should. Great. All right, Zareth Overseer is next. I'm also going to... I'm checking out the aerial unit... What is this? R21X. The Mechagon mount. The things that patrol around Mechagon and try to dismount you if you fly there. The barrel roll thing. It actually spins and does a pretty cool looking roll. Okay. And then the stop is that it just slows down. Yeah. Eh, as expected. What is this mythic jailer mount? Zareth Overseer? Is this mythic jailer or heroic jailer? Uh, head of the curve, I can't remember. 
Looks cool. Looks really cool with the Whirling Surge. That might be a personal favorite. The way the uh, like engine things accordion around behind it when you Whirling Surge with the um, Zareth Overseer. I'm a big fan of that. just waiting to do another one. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I like that. And let's see it just sort of come to a stop. Eh, all right. Alrighty, I think that's probably enough flying around for one night. We did the opening quest line for this first zone, the Isle of Dorne. And that took, I don't know, how long would you say? Maybe two hours? Two and a half? Yeah, about two hours. Maybe two and change. But um, I don't know when the next section opens, but we probably will stream that too. Yeah, I think I think that seems pretty likely. Maybe we'll even we start we before midnight, no but you never know. It. Yeah, I would think at least a week from now, maybe more, maybe maybe it's next week. You know, we'll see. Whenever they have more, you know, we'll get around and test that. I'll definitely be playing around with a bunch of other characters and, you know, a lot of other stuff. There's definitely plenty of stuff to test. And we're going to have some video content coming out about this stuff as well. Oh, um, definitely. And we super appreciate all of you guys tuning in on just like a no notice stream. <laughs> yeah, at midnight. Yeah, on a it's, random. It's very humbling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Oh, one one last request: the Felsteel Annihilator. You have one. Oh God, I should. No, I don't. Oh no. Let me see if I do. Uh, is there a similar model? Um, Gmod, I guess, is close, but not exactly. What's the other version of Gmod, the standing robot? The Sky Golem? Sky Golem? Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's a very similar model. Not as nice looking, but yeah. That is right. All right, let's check this out. This is a good thing to end on. Okay, that's a bit janky bit slow but it you know it's okay oh god the way all of these oh. undulate really. i don't know if you've tried coming to a complete stop out of nowhere with it but that was just sort of it just sort of cut between two very different animations <laughs> all right let's do it again okay that one was less janky still though Yeah, that that could look better. I don't think this one's going back in the rotation. I will say, if you have any questions about the stuff that is available on the alpha right now, and as other stuff becomes available, hit us up on Twitter with your questions. Um, we're Wow at Night on Twitter. Yep. Um Or you know, you can ask in the comments on the videos that are coming up uh, about the alpha. That's also true. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you all. Yeah. See you again next time. That's right. Good night.